What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot Rich J Bite Podcast, episode 36, man. We got a special guest in the building today. Son of a motherfucking legend. My man's got some bars. I've been listening to him for the last couple of days. He can really spit like some real Detroit shit for real. But he ain't on some old Detroit shit for real. <laughs> right. Got my nigga uh, Young Hurt in this bitch, man. What's good What's with you? What's the deal? Guys? What's up, Looking man? Eye, bro. Appreciate you coming on the show, man. No problem. But shit, we usually start things off, dog, on some shit we got called Salute Me While I'm Here. Usually we do that shit, man, for uh for people who can still smell the motherfucking yeah, flowers. Roses, yeah. yeah, for sure. A lot of times we wait till niggas be gone to be like, you know what I'm saying? I love that person. I appreciate that person. Right. And shit, rest in peace to uh, Chadwick Boseman. Right, definitely. Black Panther, Black Panther, dog. Another fucked up moment in 2020, yeah. man. Like, damn, we got Kobe. We got this fucking virus. We got the Black Panther. Like, he was a fucking yeah. real fucking hero to the black nigga people, dog. Yeah, right, James Brown. I seen little kids crying and shit. Doing man. Like, was, was kind of forever. Dog, I ain't gonna lie. He was like, like, a hero for real. I saw a little video at night. He kind of touched me and shit. I'm like, God damn it. Like, it's sad. I was unexpected. Man, for real, for real. And then, that's, that right there, though, like, he ain't even made no excuses for what he was doing. Didn't yeah. tell people what he was he going through. Was sick. Yeah, like he was trying to, you know what I'm saying, fight that shit, I guess, in silence or whatever. Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm quite sure his immediate circle knew what was going on. Yeah. But, you know, that, that right there, I guess he didn't want people to feel sad for him. Yeah, see, that's, that's real right there. He just he didn't want everybody to feel sad and he just kept going. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, uh, yeah, while you think of somebody, we usually go outside the norm, so we don't try to do like mom, dad, brothers, sisters, kids, whatever. We try to do somebody a little, you know, distance, cousin, friend, something like that. So I'm going to start off with, uh, I mean, I guess it's like a mom, but I got to give her a uh, shout out. It's my wife, uh, my wife mom. I don't know if I shouted her out. I might have did. If I did, then fuck it. It's the second time. But she just good peoples, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me moving back to Detroit, getting with her daughter. She looked out when she had to and shit. Like, she, I remember working a crazy shift and not knowing who's going to take my son to school because my wife a teacher. And shit, she stepped, to, stepped up to the plate. All right. Four, five straight years. She taking them to school, picking them up feeding them and shit so like she just good people's overall man like she look out she didn't even have to you did that's real so that's before me and her daughter got married so she i knew she was a special one so that's mm-hmm. my shout out to michelle hill michelle davis <laughs> <laughs> hey, i had to fuck with tulia and shit but yeah that's mm-hmm. my shout out to her man who you got though you got somebody in mind shout out my uncle jimmy you know what i'm saying my uncle jimmy been around for um years in my life he was like the first star in the family you yeah. know what i'm saying he he uh went to Hollywood back in like I think the eighties. Yeah. He was in movies with Tom Hanks and all type of shit. Then rub shoulders with Denzel all them. You know what I'm saying? I just Damn. want to shout him out. That's what's up. You feel me? He always come back and be on us like you know he wish he could have did more for us. He could have yeah. took it further, but yeah. it's like a I keep passed the torch basically to my pops and then yeah. we just keeping it going. But he want he like the first star yeah. to actually be in movies and stuff. So. Damn, how long ago was that? Like you know some movies he was in? He was in Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, hell no. So, oh, before Tom Hanks. Really took off, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was in Bachelor Party and a couple movies, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But that's what's up, yeah. My brother was in, uh, he was doing his little movie thing, he never made it like big, big, but shit, right now he do plays, it's consistent, he getting paid, so yeah, yeah. It's straight. Sometimes you ain't gotta have that big ass name to make a couple thousand. No, it depends you know if you get paid to do what you love, yeah, you're winning, yeah, yeah, for that's sure, for take. sure, for sure. What's well, shout out, Unc, man, yeah, Uncle Jimmy, man, that's JT, what, that's what's up. Uh, well, shoot, man, give us a little, uh, a little background story, man, like. Where you from? East side, west side. Mom, dad in the crib. Brothers, sisters. Like, how was it growing up? Growing up was, you know, Detroit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on the west side. Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got uh, three sisters and one brother. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but it was like any anybody else. You know, it wasn't easy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We grew up in the hood. You yeah. know, poverty. Know whatever. Hell, you know, yeah. my pops was doing this thing. We had a couple of things happen that actually changed the course of uh, how we was moving. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That actually molded us to be better and stronger. Mm-hmm. But yeah, life was normal. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what well, shit was uh, was moms and pops in the same crib? Like was they were they together? Yeah, we grew up together, bro. Like, Man, you know my pops. It's, it's like he real family orientated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he that's the most important thing that he ever instilled in us. Yeah. It's family over everything. For you sure. know what I'm saying over any monetary stuff. Yeah. It's, it's family. That's, that's a blessing. all you got from the beginning, cause that's something that never changed. You, yeah. People, yeah. people can make money, but once you chase the money, you, you, it's the money get more. It's more money. Certain stuff don't it change, but family is structured and it don't change. So, man, you know what I'm saying? Real, We're man. based on those type of standards. And that's that'd be a blessing, dog. Growing up with uh, both parents Two in the parents household, in the house. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Cause you, I heard a song you had did whatever. Uh, you know, what I'm saying talking about like how the streets can get a hold to a nigga when he ain't got no parents and shit. And, 
yeah. make bad decisions and yeah, yeah. shit like that. Like, and that's that's real life, dog. Cause I had both my moms and dads in the crib. They wound up splitting, you know, once I was like 13. But just yeah. being that only person on the block with your dad in the house, like, niggas yeah. respected you, just, you know what I'm saying, off of you that. You got a male figure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that can add influence to you. You a young man and you need some type of positive male influence. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to run into the, the nearest next male figure. Hell yeah. And usually it's the streets. For sure. You know hell what I'm yeah. saying? That's somebody that's not as, as morally standard as you. Yeah, hell yeah. Structure. That's a fact. Yeah, that's how it is. Hell so, yeah, man. Because I, I, me and my boys, man, about to have a daughter, but sure, I make sure, like, Nigga, I'm gonna be different from that all too. my peoples. That like, too. I'm gonna be right there. Even though me and my oldest son, mom ain't together, but I'm, mean, you know what I'm saying, thank that she thankful for her not, you know what I'm saying, trying to put me on child support. I yeah. got custody of my son. Right. He go with her on the summertime, you know, the Florida. He be with me during the school year. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying, being that, that positive role model in their life is, is is a lot, dog. That's very important, especially it's, it's both ways. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A, a daughter need a father to know how a man supposed to treat her. Hell yeah. If you ain't in her life, then she ain't going to know what, what what love is, how she's supposed to be treated. Yep. That can help. That can mess her up long term. Man, hell Same yeah. thing with a, with a son. Yeah. A son need a father to be there, and a son need a mama to mm -hmm. be there. So it's it's good to be equally yoked. Yeah, and not know? only like... Like not only be there, but show especially with your both of them, show yeah. them how to treat a woman. Teach them. Teach you know what I'm saying? So a little girl grew up like damn, my dad used to open a door for my mom, do this for my mom, you know yep. what I'm saying? And they know how, that's how they gotta get treated. You man. know what I'm saying? People, Hell yeah. That's a fat dog. Starting the household. Well shoot, man, I uh I see uh, you know what I'm saying, I'll be going through, you know what I'm saying, when I know somebody coming on the show, go through yeah. a little page or whatever. I see you uh, you know what I'm saying, play for the West Side Cubs or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. So yep. that, that was that like uh passion of yours growing up, like football, was that something you you know what I'm saying? Most niggas have hoop dreams, football dreams with that dream. Football, dreams. My, <clears throat> football was my first love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was playing football since I was seven. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I went off to college. I got injured, but that's how I ended. But, yeah, since I was seven years old, I was playing football. I yeah. played for the Cubs. Then mm -hmm. I ended up going to Central mm -hmm. High School on the west side. I got fresh prints up out of there. Then yeah. I started going to Crockett <laughs> on the east side. They yeah. came, they came and recruited me from a West Side Cubs game. Yeah, and I started coming. That's how I got over here on the east side. They started actually linking up with more niggas on the east side by going to school over here. Yeah, and I went to Crockett. And I knew some niggas from Kettering. So yeah, football is. is that was my first like dream. I'm, I'm gonna play in the NFL and stuff. But yeah, hell yeah. So you, you say know. you went to Crockett. What year were you, you was at Crockett? Crockett. I was there from like what? Oh five to. Oh nine, oh eight. Like, I know my brothers that have some bells with with, with mm -hmm. Crockett on the whole squad. Dude, they Lloyd. Uh, he's there. He's there. You know, like Big Devin. And, oh yeah, Devin. Oh yeah, Devin. Uh, who be rapping and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, dog. So you say, uh, shit. What shit? Who was some? Who was? Give me. We do a lot of top three, top five shit, dog. Speaking of football, man. Give me your top five. Or your personal. You know, what I'm saying top five football players, dog. My favorite football player, probably Ray Lewis. You yeah. know what I'm saying Ray Lewis. So you was a hitter back in the day, then? Yeah, I played linebacker. <laughs> I played linebacker with uh, tight end and the fullback and shit. I was the physical work, the yeah. dirty work. Yeah. Yeah, so Ray Lewis, um, another person, Rod Woodson. Oh, yeah. You know Beast. what I'm saying? Oh, Rod yeah. Wood played everything. He was corner safety, 72 yeah. interceptions all the time. He Rod, and then probably like Barry or somebody like that, Barry. Yeah, see, my man, yeah. Barry, my favorite all the time. They had yeah, that, Mike Vick, dog. Like, I like, yeah, Vick, Vick, Mike, Vick. Mike Vick, he, Vick he, changed the game. Hell yeah, because everybody who mobile doing this shit that he is all started from, I ain't going to say start from him, but it got like popular. Randall, Randall, Randall Cunningham. Yeah, Randall man. Cunningham was before him. Doug Williams in the cup, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah even yeah. fucking um, Steve Young was a mobile quarterback. Yep, he was. But like, Mike Vick made that shit like, damn, you see that shit? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Vic was it was scary. Yeah, like if he get a crease, it's over. Oh, but just imagine, you know dog. The thing that fucked me up with Vic, dog, just if that nigga just had like some receivers to throw it to. He never really had nobody but what, Algie Crumpler on the, as a tight end. Yeah, Algie Crumpler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Later on. Yeah, yeah later on. Yeah, 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 but his yeah, early yeah. years, like shit, he had to be on feet, boy. You didn't. You had my man, who's uh uh who's the running back? Yeah, War done. War done. So dog, just imagine yeah, they had, had like a, a, he had a squad. I don't, he was left handed too, man. Yeah. He was, he was, he was, Vic was good, man. I hate, like, dog, like, yeah, Vic was that deal, dog. The so. difference not be that they just, they can run and they pass real good too. Yeah. Like, I think Vic was a good passer. He yeah. wasn't like a great passer. Yeah. You got people not at, like Russell Wilson is putting it on the money. Yeah. He can run when he feel like it. And then you got Wilson, yeah. he like, 
fucking times three, dog. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes dog. Like, hey, he, yeah. My man said some shit that was a good analogy. He was saying like Patrick Mahomes like the Steph Curry of NFL. Yeah. Cause he do he doing shit like you never seen. You know, saying Steph was shooting that bitch like nobody never shot before. You know, cause you had shooters, but Steph was shooting that bitch off the off the dribble. Yeah. You had niggas who was catching that bitch off curls and off right, picks yeah, like yeah, Ray yeah, Allen. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Reggie Miller. Spot up the shooters. Yeah, yeah. he coming up, nigga, whapping your ass and pulling like man, from he thirty. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes a nightmare, dog. He throwing that bitch off the back foot, <laughs> forty yards down the field, <laughs> running this way and flicking that bitch right over money for real. That kill you as a, as a defense like that. Man, I like I say him yeah, and him and um him and what's ain't gonna be gonna be going at it for a minute, Jackson. dog. Yeah, man. Like I like I like his progression. Jackson Knights, nice, man. If he, if he can start passing better, he's gonna be real scary. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. So you uh, in school, like shit, you said you got, you know what I'm saying, got to crack it from, you know, getting kicked out of Central or whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah like, I how was you as a student, dog? Like, was you was you a good student or was you getting, like, you know, me and little bro was talking about how you, you know, people might get help sometimes from getting on a star athlete and shit? Like, man, this, man, this is not, I wasn't applying myself, man, for real, yeah. bro. You know, I'm. I went on with the school uh, in Central. That's my neighborhood. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to class. I'm not doing no work. I'm hanging with the seniors. People yeah. already knew me from rapping and stuff and yeah. playing for the Cubs. So I'm trying to hang with the seniors, not knowing you're not getting that same luxury of them that, what they call that, seniors. What's it called when they be? Yeah, yeah. senioritis. You, yeah. You, a, you a freshman. Yeah. So yeah. I had a point three, dog. And they, I got dog. took out of there. Man, I had a point three on my report card. Dog, but that shit crazy, dog. Like, you oh, couldn't this, get a whole This old school. We got the old school phone, if y'all know about that shit, dog. Old school motherfucking phone. But shit, yeah. Uh, yeah. You talking about point three? That shit funny, dog. I think what saved me when I first started high school was that my first two years, I actually did decent, dog. Yeah. I was going to a suburban school out in Gross Point. And then once I got kicked out because they found out, you know, I moved back to Detroit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I went to a black school seeing them black chicks. Like, damn, I, I missed this. Like, I ain't seen this in a minute, Man, dog. Man, we ain't know. I was getting no point six, point five, And then, like, we, we was talking about that shit last night. You know you fucking up, but surprise when you get that report card. Like, damn. <laughs> I didn't know shit was going to be like that. For I me. ain't going to lie, dude. I knew it, man. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I can't even be like, I was shocked. I was the kind of nigga I'd be hoping they'll remember that shit. PTCs and shit. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. She ain't, she ain't said shit all day. It's like, it's like two or the two o'clock. She called. Oh yeah, you got a uh, PTC today. I'm like, damn. Oh man, dog. That shit funny as hell, yeah, man. Yeah, I used to be fucking up, man. I ain't apply my. It was it was distractions, man. Like, yeah. Niggas couldn't focus. Yeah. That's why I, I ain't gonna lie. If I went to like Fred D, I probably had all A's. Yeah, swear to God, yeah. all you boys no chicks, school, you gonna care I mean, about? Man, I had yeah. all A's. Yeah, cause you going to school like whatever, dog. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was some distractions. They go to school and put pajamas on that bitch. Like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> for real, for real. So you say, uh, yeah, yeah. so you know what I'm saying? At the high school, whatever you say, you went to college for football, right? Mm-hmm. What uh, what college you went to? I went to college in California mm-hmm. for a minute, and I got like a little injury where I came home before I started my eligibility. Yeah. Then I went back to school in um, Minnesota. Okay. And that's how I was playing that night. Uh, I had, uh, had another injury, and then that's when, that's, that's when it was, like, in between the seasons. So I just ended up leaving. Like, yeah. I had messed up my right hand. I couldn't write no more, so I really couldn't do no work. So yeah. I just, that was just it. Man, real. damn. Do you have a little bit like, damn, I wish it could have went a different way. Like A little bit, that's but like, it's just what it is, bro. Like, yeah. I ain't going to lie. Like, man, because my meat, like, if you're if you playing football right now, I'm telling you, like, Anybody listening, if you, dog, grades. Yeah. It's, it's everything grades. Hell Cause yeah. Because I, I had letters, dog, from, I had letters from Boston College. Yeah. Western Michigan was recruiting me heavy, but my grades were so terrible. I had a lot of different little letters from Miami and yeah. a little bit of interest, but I started off with a point seven yeah. on the second card. Yeah. That's the real one. Hell yeah. You know, the first one, well, yeah, it's like they that. give you a box. Yeah, yeah. You like, you the like, second yeah. one, I had a point, point three, bro, on the yeah. second one. That's like. All F's and a D, bro. <laughs> you can't sure. redeem that. You no, gotta go you to can't. summer school and try to man. grades is everything. Like man. if you if you get if you got good grades, you can get recruited and yeah. you got a chance. For sure. I'm trying to go to I'm trying to go to community college here yeah. and here to try to bounce around. Yeah, man. Grades is everything. It so is, dog, I look back at that more like if I was just going to school, I would I know I could have I could have got further. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That A C T and all man. that, man. But I'm gonna tell you something so cold. I ain't I ain't I ain't a snitch. Yeah. But I know somebody, dog. Yeah. Nigga was cold. <laughs> Nigga was dumb as a box of rocks, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell he yeah. got a, he found his way into a D one school. He yeah. had he was his grades was terrible. He yeah. was cold. Yeah. I ain't even gonna say the school is man. <laughs> dog was a beast. I ain't gonna but 
I, I for sure they put him together. Yeah, they put Hell him yeah. together. They, they slipped him through the crack. They were saying that shit about uh, what's the name too though. I heard a story about uh, D Rose coming to Detroit to take it uh, his SAT and shit. I believe dog. it, man. Like dog, if you like you said, you got some people, some of them teachers, some of them chicks. They, you man, know, they if they know coaches. if they know you gonna be a, a star and a potential NFL player, they gonna help out because you yeah. can come back and scratch their hands, rub their back a little Hell bit. Like yeah. you looked off at me for sure. I mean, yeah, for sure. Because when I went there, it was my man uh, Brandon Graham. He in the league right oh, now yeah, playing for the Philly. Eagles. Yeah, yep. he he was cold. What high school he went to? Crockett. Okay, yeah. Crockett. Yep. Okay, yeah. He Hell yeah, because yeah, he always be obviously he always do the blade when he ever gets sack or whatever, dog. Yep. Yeah, that's what's up. But yep. yeah, dog, it's like um, I'll be telling my son that because my son eighth grade, like his grade is always good. But I'm like, dog, like it's we we having a talk yesterday, day before yesterday, going to my auntie crib. I'm like, listen, you at that age now, shit about to come at you. Like don't be, don't feel like you a lame because you you turn shit down saying no. Like I'm good. Like right. Like, I be telling my girls like trust me, them, them females gonna come. Yeah. They gonna be around your whole life. Like <laughs> we don't know that though. I know. So I be telling my dog, just take it from me. Like like the girls gonna be there. It's cool, but just know you got that balance. Like you gotta be able to keep those grades good, those sports good, and the girls they gonna come with it. Yeah. Especially if you a beast at the sports, like you gonna get the girls just because they thinking you about to make it. Like right. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy, man? Like we. You can tell your kids that my pops told me a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the best teacher is experience. Oh, no, for sure. You ain't got them your so pops much. can tell you. I'm telling you, man. I'm trying to tell you. If you do this, you want you will be straight. You will be able to. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, all right. But I'm blowing it off. I'm like, I know, man. I, you think you know it? Once you get older, you think you know more. I think he older, so he young. Yeah. Like kids, be dog. Yeah, you hell you yeah. think we know anything? Oh, that's how I was when you was young. It's different. Yeah, for sure. But we all know. And then you be the same shit. Y'all same both. Thing. Y'all both grow to the same. Stories like damn, I should listen, bro. Yeah, he was like, he was right the whole time. Yeah, cause you like you just going off of shit like basically when you teach your kids or you teaching somebody younger than you, you just going off of experience yep. though, for the most part with a little bit of knowledge that you got passed on from the OGs. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Niggas tell you like, man, my brother tell me all the time, dog, don't hit no girls raw, cause and then as soon as I hit that, it's like every time we used to, every time we used to get on the phone, dog, always saying I love you, be like, dog, make sure you wrap it up. So pregnant. Like, I remember one time I I hit I hit I wasn't hitting them up dog because we used to talk about basketball shit. I'm not calling about the finals like my team winning. I'm not saying shit. He like dog something wrong. You, you know, know what I'm saying? So then uh I'm like dog I talk to you. He said as long as you ain't got no baby no way we good. All right nigga I call you back cause <laughs> 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 for real dog. So like you say man like as a parent you just gotta know do your job and then just hope that your your hope, son or daughter hope. you know what I'm saying come out for the best and you can always learn from that shit even if you fail as a kid. You can redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, nah, because even if you is teaching your kid the right stuff, the influences around them is crazy. Mm -hmm. Dog, like all these phones, they can do whatever Dog. they want and see whatever they want right right now today. Hell yeah. Like you can you can tell your kids about this and that and that, but if they got a little friend in school who parents are a little more yeah. lenient and they can influence them to be like, Well, they doing this. Hell My yeah. three friends doing this. Hell yeah. You saying do that. I might as well do what they doing. It's three of them doing that. So why am I doing you know, For sure. It's Hell the yeah. That's why I be on his head like, dog, be your own man, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, that shit funny. Because, yeah, them phones, like, we was talking about, just like, nigga, we was talking about porn. Like, how hard it was to get some porn. Nigga. Listen, like, man. Listen, <laughs> that shit easy as fuck. Dog. Listen, man. When I was young, I don't know how old y'all is, bro. When I was young, yeah. you had to wait, bro. We used to wait to watch TV shows like the VH1 and to see girls going wild in commercials. Like, hey, that shit was lit. <laughs> We was feeling good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we another sure. bitch watching T. We watching the uh, Hotel Erotica oh, yeah, on yeah. Uh, Comcast. You don't, nothing but, you don't see nothing but titties or whatever. But it was enough no, for us. Like no, for They sure. can see whatever they nah, want to see. Nah, you can type in exactly what you want. And it's wicked. You, you, just go on Twitter right now on Mistake. And yeah. it, it's fucking. As soon as you get yeah. on Twitter, yeah. like, it's crazy. Hell like, yeah, so that's why my son, like, I he can't get to Facebook. He got IG. IG just the same, though. Shit. IG a little. I'm going to take, man, Twitter is no. I got on Twitter yesterday, dog. This is a bitch blowing a nigga down. <laughs> right on the first search. And I ain't even following that shit. Nigga, it's just on there. Like, dog, they, your dog. Friends retweeted they dog. going. They on there going. It's out there, dog. Like, that's, that should be scary because, dog, I, my my son got a phone. That phone is fucking, that phone dog. It's wicked. everything, dog. That phone just imagine, wicked. like, if, if we if the, the shit they got now was around when we was, we, we was young, dog. That oh, shit would be man, crazy. It would have like, been, been crazy. I probably would have got some ass a little younger then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. It's kids, man. You, man, you go through your little nephew's phone and oh, your little cousin and son. You, 
You might be, you might be, damn. Yeah, like, but, damn, this nigga talking how crazy. How do I, how do I tell him he wrong? Yeah. I'm happy, because there's so much shit going, I'm glad he ain't gay. Yeah. They got so <laughs> okay. much bullshit going on. No, for you sure. You damn near like, hey, oh, yeah, he like women, but damn, I don't yeah. know. He, yeah, it's a little too early. There's so like, much weird shit going on, man. bro, these kids. Yeah, I tell my son, like, dog, listen, you got any questions, dog, don't be afraid to come to me, dog. Right. Like, we can talk it out. Like, like I'm like, because my, my pops passed away at 13, so I'm asking my mom about where to put it at and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, nigga, like, we can so much of a good relationship I wasn't embarrassed about asking her but right. I would have felt comfortable asking my dad you know yeah. what I'm saying then I'm scared to ask my uncle this nigga seven years older than me so like he laughing at me and shit so yeah. I'm going to ask my mama dog she knows she, she a woman <laughs> yeah, she can tell man. me that's the that's, that's crazy bro. so shit man after you had got hurt like and you know you you, you wasn't continuing football would you kind of like shit I'm, I'm it's a rap with the school like what's the point Cause that's how I was kind of with basketball once I seen basketball was like wasn't was. on the rising like cause that's all I was thinking about for real like man I we we be going to college to get an education and all that, but when yeah. sports attached to it, I'm going to go to the league, man. Yeah. I ain't trying to go in. That's that motivation no right there. And then I don't know what I'm majoring in, minoring in. I'm just trying to do this shit. <laughs> yeah, football. Yeah. You take whatever. Like, that's <laughs> all you know. <laughs> Playing football since I was seven, bro. Yeah. And then I, I got injured. I was done in like 18, 19. So yeah. I mean, for that long ass window, I'm like, damn, what the fuck am I about to do now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you been playing for so long. Hell yeah. You ain't think about no, you know, everybody like, what's your second option? Plan B. This ain't no third. second option. Yeah. But I used to always rap on it like a little bit. Yeah. Just because I seen my OG doing this. I was rapping a little bit on the yeah. side. But football was the main thing I was invested in. Man, hell yeah. Because I'm like, I'm going to the NBA. Yeah. Nigga, I mean, that bitch yeah. like, I'm 5'8", like, nigga, I ain't and going to the no fucking league. <laughs> and then you, look, you start looking at the metrics like, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. damn. For real. And then, like, I'm not even putting in the work that everybody putting in. I'm just right. hooping at the park. Like, I'm not even putting up shots. I'm not doing no you type ain't, of ain't, man. drills. And some, the best players be the boys, them niggas that be going through everything. Yeah, yeah. This nigga Pops left. He, made, he seen his mama get beat. He... Right, them niggas be cold. Hell yeah. Maybe they got some motivation, dog. Like <laughs> they mad as fuck. He on the court with dog. He dunking and all that type of shit. He angry as hell. Screaming, nigga. Like yeah, that's he, like see LeBron, nigga. Shit, his mama had him like what, 15, 16? Yeah, Brian, yeah angry never was as in the hell. picture, dog. Like that nigga. Man, I don't, I don't know if I was that nigga that would came around a long time ago. Like, nigga, what up, cuz? Like, what's up, man? <laughs> this nigga on the, on the, on, on uh, Sports Illustrated at fucking sixteen. With Sebastian Tower for a whack ass, like yeah, man, man, that shit, that shit, true though. Yeah, that's but shit, true. man, um, so you know, what I'm saying you said fuck the, uh, you know, what I'm saying well, not fuck football, but football, you know, kind of disappeared once you got hurt and shit. And yeah. you say you been, you been rapping right. before you, before you was rapping, and we know you, you know, what I'm saying your pops being a Detroit legend. I always say that shit not because you on here, but right. every show I say shit top five. You know, what I'm saying he, he a Detroit like. That nigga just the truth to me though. That was that's, that's the first motherfucking um song I heard from a Detroit rapper was him and Jay Nutty, dog. What's that uh Gangsters Only? Dog, yeah. Gangsters so I, only. I had I was in Gross Gross Point, moved back to the city. My homies put me on all the music like Blade, Hurt, Rock Bottom, right. Street Lords. I'm like, who the fuck is these people? Like, right. That's yeah, it, that's whatever. the first song, dog. So I had to go back and kind of do my history because uh that's the question I was gonna ask you. At 14, I kind of had to go back. Fits. I say 15, 16, I had to go back and kind of listen to oh, the yeah, shit yeah, I missed yeah, out yeah, on. Yeah. Because as a kid, I'm listening to everything my mom and dad listening to. Fucking Temptations. Right. Motherfucking Bob Marley. This, it, he always talk shit about Sade, but Sade the truth and shit. You <laughs> Anita, like Baker, Anita Baker and shit. Like, who was the people when you was young and, and mom cleaning on Saturday mornings and she bumping that junk and you liking it because your mom and pop's liking it? Uh, same kind of stuff for real. You know, they was all on, on that same type of tip. Anita Baker and stuff. Yeah. You know, like I used to live with my uncle for a minute, and yeah. then he was playing Isley Brothers, yeah, Earth, yeah. Wind, and Fire. Man, you know, Commodore. So I, sure. I got like a lot of a little bit of my uncle mm -hmm. side, and then my pop side. They was playing like R and B, nineties yeah. R and B. Yeah, and that's the best R and B ever too. Stuff, though, you know man. what I'm saying? Fucking nineties boy. But yeah, I remember. I remember a lot of that stuff, man. Yeah. Songs he was playing and stuff. I remember dog, my dad, and that's what forced me to be a Tupac fan. The only rapper I heard, dog, cause my dad wasn't into rap like that. He was just into that. My dad, oh, he was into Motown shit. Oh yeah, yeah, and, oh, that's crazy. But it's like he was the only thing he was playing was like Pop was the only rapper I ever right. heard. Yeah. So I knew all Tupac music. I knew all his shit and low key. The Life is a uh, fucking underrated album, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like one of my favorite pocket albums. But yeah, like, that's the only thing I was hearing. So it's like, once I got of age, what, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas was like, the first rapper that put me, like, damn, this shit rap shit sweet. That was Juvie, 400 Degrees. Juvenile? Yeah. Oh, okay. But before that, like, I was listening to some uh, fucking Criss Cross, MC Hammer, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was a childish rap, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, shit, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Like, me, I, like, me getting into music, mm-hmm. 
Like, I used to always be rapping, but I was sneak rapping. Yeah. I ain't ever let my pops know I was rapping and stuff because yeah. I wanted to get to a certain level where I thought I was good enough to pre present it and let them hear it. Yeah. So I was always, I studied a lot of rap, bro. Yeah. Since I was young. Like, I went back and learned about uh, DJ Cool Herc and mm -hmm. the inventors of hip hop. Like, when I get into something, I study it because I was like, like, even playing football. Like, yeah. I took on the Ray Lewis and people like that that actually watch film and study their craft. Yeah. And that's when I started rapping. Yeah. I started studying rap and hip-hop. Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, mm -hmm. all the older rappers, Rakim. Yeah, yeah. And I went back Rakim, and studied I, I think Rakim, like, my brother was saying, like, Rakim was kind of, like, the first one to really, like, put bars, like, have bars, like. Rakim and Big Daddy Kane, yeah. the boys was going, you man. You see, it was, it was, like, structured rap. In between, like, multi-syllable multi rhymes and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, conjunctions. And it. Hey, I think he here today, matter of fact, Rakim doing the show today. I heard he supposed to be uh, him at uh, Stretch Money or something. Yep. Yeah, got was show today. My, uh, my barber was talking about that shit. But yeah, I always study rap, bro. I've been doing that for, since I was about 14. Yeah. As long as I can get on Google and Google <laughs> stuff, bro. Like, my favorite rapper, Big L, bro. Like, yeah. as far as niggas that be rapping, I always yeah. look at lyricists. Okay, yeah. And, and wordplay and rhymes yeah. in between. Hell yeah, Big L. Yeah, Big L definitely was dope. Just hearing his shit, dog. And um, so all right, let me ask you this though, all right? All right, people always talk about their top five, and of course they top five always going to include, you know, what I'm saying Pot Nas, Hov, right. and shit like that. I want I'll be asking people, what's your, what's your top five taking away Pot, Big Nas, and Hov? Nas, Eminem. I know, I be doing that like a lot. Yeah. You take out the like the pioneer. Cause you know, yeah, you know what people gonna say. Yeah, yeah, my if I do a five, it probably be uh, Jada Kiss. Mm. Uh, Ti, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, dog. Jada Kiss and Yo Pops kind of, kind of like seem like uh, I, a similar rappers a little bit. They kind of like the with the raspy tone. Yeah, and the, and like the content, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you said Jada Kiss, Ti, Jada Kiss, Ti. Uh, I put Ross in my shit. Mm -hmm. I like uh, want to say uh, what's that? Three Fab. Yeah. And there's one more I'm probably sleeping on. I'm about to ask you about Fab. Because I be doing a, I be doing a current. See, I, it's some when I do lists, bro. I break that. I be breaking that shit down, bro. Because it's so many. Yeah. Let me ask people, you something about uh, about like, Fab, dog. Me and my me and my cousin talking about this shit. Shout out my cousin Lance, dog. Yeah. Fab, I say he got classic mistakes albums wise. I don't know if he got. Do we got classic to you? He don't got a classic album. Yeah. I love Fab. Yeah, but like he his mistakes though be ridiculous. Like dog. the Soul like, Tape series soul tape, is real nigga. good. So but take, boy. He don't have a classic album. Like, yeah. they, Jada got like a. And that that two. showed you when they did that battle, even yeah, though yeah, I think yeah. uh, Fab List was kind of bad. He could have picked some better songs than what yeah, he did. Yeah. But Jada Kiss, like, that shit fucked me up. Like, it really showed me, like, Jada Kiss was the, is the truth. Like, I was telling people, like, man, <laughs> Jada got some shit. Duh, hey, Jada, one thing about Jada, Jada damn near like a. <laughs> he damn near like a Wilt Chamberlain or something. <laughs> like, nah, well, what's my man's name with the Scott Hook? Oh, uh, Kareem. Kareem, you yeah. got the sky hook. He gonna yeah. keep using that bitch, yeah, but yeah. we love it. Like, all right, cause he don't do. He already jump out of out his, box. his style. He yeah. got that style. He gonna go. He gonna give you what you what he give you, and then that's it. Hell yeah. See, sometimes that's I think a, that's a good ass analogy. Fab, versi <laughs> fab versatile a little bit, but I think yeah. sometimes he be watered down a little too much. Yeah, just a little bit, but he can rap rap his ass rap off, his ass word off play, real. rhyme, and all that. And I don't know if sometimes he his he got the best beat selections like. Cause on some of his albums, yeah, I'm like, like Low Soul Way was good to me, but it wasn't, yeah. it didn't. No Soul Way was. It great. ain't just embody a classic, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that shit is it, dog. Cause uh, see, my 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 five is um, is Snoop, Snoop. Yeah, Cause Snoop, Snoop is like the Snoop to me. Is Snoop is the, the is most the, famous rapper ever. Dog, you took the words I'm off, dog. I say shit all the time. Cause no matter what color you are, what, what um, what age you are, you gonna know Snoop from Snoop, a Snoop, a little dog. a little yeah. ten year old to a. A ninety year old white lady, you know who the fuck Snoop is, dog. Like, right, yeah. and his shit, he was he he wasn't gonna bar you with devil, but it's the way he used words. His voice was like an instrument. Yeah, Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Like it, that, that verse about with DMS. I'm like, dog, this nigga like yeah, Snoop got a style that's just like it's like him talking to you. So yeah, like, like and and the thing I think that separate him from older rappers is that that he embraced the younger dudes. He do, and that's why I think this Nas album was so cold because he finally kind of like, you know what I'm saying. Did yeah, some different yeah. shit that he never did. Like he he had a little dirt on his shit. Like you didn't know how that was gonna sound. You know right. what I'm saying? Big shine and shit. Yeah, yeah like yeah. that shit was Emerging. dope. And that that I think that's that's why Jay Z like Jay Z ain't my my favorite, but I respect him. It's like yeah, how people yeah. like know LeBron, me and little bro, somebody shit. You know LeBron is one of the goats, but you know what I'm saying you may not like him, but you gotta respect him. Yeah, certain people like that's how that's how Jay is. Yeah, but my shit like Snoop, DMX, X. Wayne. Even though I'm mad at Wayne now, dog. Like. Wayne. It's like I, I'm mad at Wayne, dog. Wayne, Wayne, my top three, cause like that's the, Wayne. yeah. But it's like nah, it's like dog. He just rapping. 
I like Wayne. I think it. I think it get to a point where niggas rap for so long in their life. It's like, yeah. what else I'm about to say? Yeah. Lil yeah. Wayne rapping since he was a baby, so it's like, <laughs> for sure. like for real, for what real. What the fuck I'm about to say now? I've been yeah. rapping forever, so mm-hmm. it get to a point where it's like, damn, I got. I, I think I'm with Wayne, though, I kind of want to hear. I kind of. I think his next project should like embody like a four four four. Like, I, even though I know he's not like that, but I want. I kind of want him to like <laughs> speak on his life for real. He don't respect that shit. You know, like, he talk about Black Lives Matter and stuff. Yeah. He ain't think about that shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 he, right. ain't, he ain't finna do no, no empowerment. And it's funny that Jay-Z doing that now. And now has been doing that since the 90s. Yeah. Talking about the black empowerment and black wealth. Hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's good to see growth. And one nigga who don't get the respect and he just do is Ice Cube. Yeah, Cube. I was going to put Cube my fifth. Yeah. Yep, Cube. Because yeah. Ice Cube, he, he is NWA, dog. Like, he, he, he made Cube, Eazy-E. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He NWA. Like, he... He that nigga, dog. Like for real, like he you know one of the saying? pioneers of gangster rap, man. Ice T. Oh yeah, you dog. Know funny thing about Ice T, dog. I was listening to him on Drink Champs, like the shit that he was rapping back then. He was spitting on the show, mm-hmm. like that shit was still going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, timeless. Man. And then so my fifth, I give it a split between Kendrick and and Cole. Oh yeah, I like them. I like them too. Actually. Cause I, I can't just like, I can't pick one over the other, dog. Like. It's kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a red, red pill, blue pill. Yeah, for sure, for sure, dog, yeah, for yeah. sure. So you, you say you rapping, you know, what I'm saying as a young, as a youngin, like yeah. when you start, when you first start rapping, at what age do you remember, dog? I think maybe like twelve or thirteen. Yeah. I first started rapping like then with me and my cousin, Free Knock. He locked up. We yeah. um, we used to be just writing raps, sneaking writing raps and shit, man. My pops are busting the door and shit. What y'all in this bitch doing? <laughs> we doing homework. We doing homework in this bitch <laughs> mm-hmm. on Saturday. So we 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 just started writing with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they started getting good. I think the first time I rapped for my pops was at my eighth grade graduation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got that shit on footage and everything. Would you like, was you a little nervous? No. Like, I wasn't nervous. Okay, no, okay. No, when I did it, because I, I had been rapping for so long, practicing that it was just normal now, freestyling yeah. and stuff like. But I worked on my craft for so long that I started getting decent. Like, all right, maybe he like this. Yeah. He <laughs> like he he. You know what I'm saying? He. A, he a perfectionist. Yeah. So it's like you gotta have your stuff at least halfway decent for to sure. even try to present it. Yeah, you like cut. I think you need to go ahead. Don't go with no bullshit. Like cut. Go ahead. Go back to the room. Cut. Do yeah, that homework. We did a verse. <laughs> I did a verse. He made me read my verse over before, like some years ago. Man, you that's know? it. That's it. Funny. I remember me and my cousin in the room. I call him my cousin. He my best friend, though. We rapping and shit. I tell the story on the podcast before, dog. We rapped that shit to his uncle, and his uncle was like, "Nigga, that's the that's the trashiest shit I've ever heard in my life." Like that nigga, yeah, just, yeah. That nigga just played. I was like, but I was happy though, cause you know. You be needing that nigga to tell that you that shit with trash, dog. Like that motivation, real. cause you don't want no yes man around you. Yeah. And I was far from that. My, my OG. I think that's how I actually got to a point where I started actually studying and working harder, cause he be, yeah, straight. Yeah. I be rapping and shit. My <laughs> man's them love that shit. Hey, <laughs> you going? I'm like, hear this? He be, yeah, straight. Keep working. Dog, he like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want about to be like, oh, that shit amazing, like. Yeah. And that's that made me hey, pushing right, you. dig deeper. All right, dig. Yeah, I, yeah. I study so much, bro. I'm a, I'm a, 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 a fucking student, bro. Man. Rap and the the art of putting words together and speech yeah. and figurative language. Yeah. I just was studying that shit forever. Let me ask you this then, like with your with your dad rapping and shit like that, was you know a lot of, a lot of rap dads and shit be like don't want they 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 kids to rap. Was it was he trying to ever stop you like dog? I don't think you should do this shit or no. He ain't say he ain't never <laughs> say nothing when yeah. he first like the first time he heard me was at the eighth grade graduation. Yeah. And then they was like, oh, that's straight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I just kept doing more stuff. Yeah. Then I, I wrote a song, and I, he heard the song. He was like, oh, that's straight. Yeah. To be recorded, I was like 14. Yeah. You know, so. Tell, oh, shit, talk about your what's name then. Like, you, you say you rapping at 12. You you know what I'm saying? You studying the game. How was your first time in the studio, dog? <coughs> it was straight. You know, my first time in there, I, I had to learn how to record, really. Yeah, because that, that'd, be, that'd be a shit. Because it's easy to rap, like, but when you get... Behind that mic, it's kind of like some niggas are try to go too much with the beat or shit like that. Like, yeah, you gotta find a pocket. Yeah, you, know, so you got you don't you start learning the terminology of recording and stuff. But everybody can just rap freestyle. You can be kicking it in the hood, just freestyle into a beat. But recording is a different process. Mm-hmm. And then leveling your sound and you know, your your leads and your second tracks and so it's a certain finesse you got to put on your. Your sound, yeah. so it come out good on the other end. Hell yeah, hell so yeah. Recording is a real process. What what's some shit that uh oh so your first time was it straight or or it's like you damn I need to work on this shit some of like was it it was straight like when I recorded they liked it yeah because yeah, I had been around them for so long like my um my man Devious he been around for years you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying he like a big brother to me mm-hmm. so I was always working with him mm-hmm. 
through my pops. And I was like 15, yeah. 15, 16, doing open mics with him, going to shows and freestyling and just getting the feel for rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Hell yeah. When I recorded, I was straight. So now, like, what's some shit that, now with you going to the studio, what's some shit that you need in the studio, some shit that you like? Like, do you like a big crowd, small crowd? I don't matter. Food, niggas, chicken wings, niggas. Yeah, like no, it don't matter. You fly. I just kind of come in there with a, some, a bottle of water for real. Like warm <laughs> no, no, you of need water that shit because nigga, your mama get dry as fuck in that bitch. Yeah, like. but <laughs> what I like doing is like I like getting the beat and recording. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the beat and write into it and then go record. Like yeah. I can go to the studio and then just get a beat and then work right there. But it's better yeah, for me to prepared. just like do four or five beats. And write and then go record them. Yeah. Then I can record them all in like two hours. Hell yeah, hell versus yeah. Versus being in there all day waiting and trying to figure out yeah. on the clock and shit. <laughs> dog, cause the funny shit I seen, dog. I was a uh, rest in peace to my nigga uh, Buns and shit, dog. First time I seen a a, 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 a known rapper in the studio was um, Benny, Ben Siegel. I don't know why my mm-hmm. dumb ass, my uncle called me. I'm thinking I'm about to get on a song with Ben Siegel, so I'm trying mm-hmm. to get my best verse out. And shit. Yeah, right, right. So, but he was in there. I, I seen like when people be saying they don't write. And I'm thinking he's just going that bitch and spitting with him. He he rapping two bars coming out, going over it with his man. Rapping yeah. two bars coming out like, yeah. like damn it took this nigga about an hour to do this one verse. Like yeah, see, see, sometimes people people say they don't write and it make you think they freestyling. Yeah. They not freestyling. Yeah. Freestyling is cut the beat on go. Whatever come to your mind, that's yeah. a free that's yeah. like freestyle. But now it's some shit free of style. Yeah. When niggas just spit a bunch of bars in their head or pre written verses. Yeah. So Hell it's yeah. like that, but off the top is like that's the, what we thought, like, we used to use freestyle Hell for, yeah. but, yeah, niggas a punch all day. Niggas yeah. go on that bitch and yeah. spit two bars Hell and cheer, yeah. how that's yeah. that shit. Yeah, stop me right and there, cuz. Like, or yeah. some niggas writing their head, like yeah. Jay-Z. Like Jay-Z, he just writing his yeah. mind. I remember watching that, he got uh, multiple verses and he just kicking one. Like, yeah, because his, his supposedly last album before he retired, what was that shit? Um, Black album. Black album, I remember yeah. watching a documentary of him doing that that's shit, he like, doing, yeah. he was doing the whole little voice of the cop and shit, like, damn, this nigga whole cold, like. Because it's in your mind, man. Some people got the mind for it. Be writing, yeah. I write that. You take, do you take your old school and write on the on the pen and pad, or you just off the yeah. phone? And, I do and both. Note? I do both for real, now nah, because the the phone's so convenient. If I'm if I come in the studio to do a feature or something, I just write on the phone. Yeah. But I write at the crib on paper sometimes because I want to edit some shit or yeah. rem- like when I'm working on some shit for a minute to try yeah. to go back and fix this. But I use both. But I like writing. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Cause niggas get lazy now. Just being that bitch, like, all right, well, let me, let me. They be uh, punching in, and it show though. So yeah. I don't, it, it show, and niggas raps when yeah, niggas be. Cause I'm looking like, damn, I'm like, I, my heart broke, nigga. I thought you about going that bitch and spit straight sixteen. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> I, I respect both ways, but it's like you can tell the difference though. You yeah. can tell the difference of a nigga that actually wrote and, and nigga work like, on this verse, and a nigga that just put put two bars here, two yeah. here, two. And they like me, I ain't got no money to be uh, in the studio that long, nigga. Shit. No, that's why you write, you get the beat, you yep. write the career. Go over that shit over, over, yeah, over yeah. again. So. And so now you go in, you just, you said it so many times, it's just yeah. perfected. That you, you kind of like just looking at your phone in the pad just to remember maybe a key word you may forget or some yep. shit. That shit crazy, bro. That's it. So, so besides your, or with your dad, like, who is, come, you, you, by your dad being a rapper, dog, who, who are some niggas you can, can keep it real with you and be like, dog, if you, Putting some trash shit out, they be like, man, I ain't feeling that or redo my, that or. My like, man, it's real. My, I mean, but he do it enough shit. I don't really need nobody else. <laughs> yeah. Not saying he do it a, a, like a, but he he a strong critiquer. You yeah. feel me? Because he know what time it is. Basically, if you put it out, when I'm coming behind, so he critique it enough to give me good input. But I, it's more when I was younger for real. Like I kind of got got the the idea of what I'm doing now. But my man's E Rup, you know what I'm saying? Eric G, mm-hmm. one of my right hand man. My man's John. You know I got niggas. They be like. That's straight, but you can, you can go harder. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, to it, yeah, yeah, I don't really got people around that be just feeling everything. Yeah, you know I hate that saying? shit. Like, cause you listen to it, like, no, that shit don't sound that good. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> niggas people, be like, bro, that bitch cold, bro. Niggas that got that, but yeah. you got niggas that critique. I got some niggas that sometimes over critique. Yeah. I be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, feel me? you be like, nah, you're tripping. <laughs> like, nigga, yeah, nigga, that shit was hard. I don't give a fuck. What you talking about? <laughs> Sometimes, but you need a nigga to keep you on your toes to give you some input on what's good and what ain't. Hell yeah. Because you know I saying? remember, like, I told a story before, dog. I was doing a little music with my nigga Mike and shit, dog. He had a little studio about uh, the old cracker and shit. And I go in that bitch, I'm rapping my ass off. He sat me down on the couch, like, let's listen to your song. He like, at the, at the end, he like, nigga, you really think that was straight? Like, because it wasn't, nigga. That shit was trash. Like, yeah, he like, nigga, yeah. it's like you read that bitch and everything. And then yep. that took okay. me, like, usually, like, on some shit, I'll be like, man, I'll give up. Fuck it. But I'm like, damn, let me go ahead and challenge myself. And next time I come to this nigga, he going to change his opinion about exactly. me. Exactly. And he was like, dog, I can tell you've been working. Because you need, like I said, you need that. it may hurt your feelings, dog, but 
gotta keep it real with me. Like that's like females, nigga. Shit, don't don't fucking say I'm the best out you ever had. Then once we break up, you you tell the other motherfuckers this nigga was trash. Shit. Shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. How they do you though? Dog, I, that's, I always tell my kids because I coach dog life and and whatever you do. That shit go hand in hand, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, tell me the truth. Don't sit here and have me think I got the best motherfucking game in the world. And the inside, you got a group text, nigga. You calling me like. Push people <laughs> like that. And that's how coaches coaches know how to do that. They know For how to sure. push, pull the best out of their players. Yeah, yeah. you going to know who going to be the shit, who you can depend on yep. in a clutch situation, and who you can't. Like, oh, I got to sit this nigga on the bench. That's how it works. You, like, know, you yeah. know you see a kid with potential. Like, I can pull somebody. Yeah, because you down by 4 or 30. You got your head down. Nigga, it's over. Like, nigga, you got 30 seconds. Nigga, turn that shit up. Nigga, get you a motherfucking steal. Put that bitch back up, getting her still, nigga. Like, right. you could do that shit, dog, for real. So, shit, with your, let me ask you something about your pops, cause I, I made sure I didn't want to make this an interview about you and not him. Right. But I always felt like, you know what I'm saying, your pops should have had a deal. Was he pushing for a deal? Or was he like just, nigga, showing that he can, re, he can rap and shit? He was just rapping. They what, back then, people was getting deals, but, you know, you got to get a deal that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a deal was a deal. If mm-hmm. we playing cards right now and you get you deal me a bad hand, I got a deal, but it's a bad hand. Yeah. So it's just about getting a good deal, something yeah. that makes sense. For sure. That's all a deal really is. But yeah. he was just rapping for respect. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because niggas didn't know that he dope. You know, money was going to come with it. Yeah. But he wasn't just trying to, like, I need a deal. I need to go sign with Def Jam. I need to get signed with Epic. I need to get signed with mm-hmm. Rockefeller. Yeah. So he was just rapping for respect. Yeah, for, for sure. For his craft. Was it was 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 niggas coming to him and shit back then? Yeah, was, people trying because like that's the hardest coming. thing to do is turn down a deal. But you know, and like I was listening to Joe Budden podcast, and he was saying like how he he got offered the most money he ever seen from Spotify. But at the end of the day, they wanted too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wanted too much of his rights and shit. So he had to turn that shit down. A lot of times, niggas too scared to turn down a good know, deal. You got to know what you signing, man. That's what it is. You yeah. know what you signing. People don't and don't be quick just to be famous. Yeah, we want to <laughs> yeah. be a famous bum. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what That's what a saying? lot of those that niggas be though. sad, bro. Like niggas be signing deals, dog, and you be a famous bum. Yeah, like, that nigga got deal, but you be known, but no money. That's yeah. worse to me. That's worse than being broke with no and unknown with no money. Like, Hell yeah, because you, you famous with no money. Niggas expecting to see it's, this yeah. this type. Of shit when they see you and you in yeah. that bitch in the same situation as them, dog. Yeah, man. You look at TLCs and all them, bro. They sold 10 million CDs, bro. For, for, and had no money, for, man. And got a, a whip. That's ridiculous, bro. They should, that's, that's, that's sad. Yeah, back then, they was getting a lot of bad deals. That's why I was thinking, like, niggas now, like, at this day and age, we talking about the phone, you really don't need that big deal. You like. need nobody. That's why we got people getting more leverage now. If I can just get it, get my page popping in average... 50,000 views on all my videos, 50,000, 100,000 views. Mm-hmm. Now I got leverage for like, I got a fan base already. Yeah. Y'all come to me with this? No, I can only, you know what I'm saying? But versus being an unknown artist with talent, yeah, it's a business. So you can have talent, but they gonna look at you as nobody know you. Hell yeah. You still, you still a, a product. You just like that. You just like, effing vodka. Yeah. We gotta promote you and get you out here. Yeah. Hell so yeah. So it's, it's, it's a business. And then with this coronavirus hitting, like, that really kind of like, I think, put artists to the test. Of, of finding other avenues or other oh, ways to yeah, put that shit yeah, out. Because they can't do nothing. They can't yeah, do no shows. Because you ain't stuff. doing shows. You know what I'm saying? You can do videos, but just things are it's different now. I done seen so many artists putting people on mixtapes and all these little bro, scams. These scams. Bro. That's a scam. And niggas think they getting on. That's a scam. Nigga, you getting 50000 nigga, you go ahead just finding some artists and then like you ain't promoting that shit because you go on, them, on their pages, they not promoting that bro, shit. They not you, putting no track list down. Man, if you look, I seen, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I seen one where nigga did like, Ten volumes, right? Yeah. Fifty songs a volume. Yeah. So if you looking, if you look at the, if you look at the volume, look, look, bro. I swear to God, bro. If you doing that and you tell the niggas, all right, throw me three hundred, three hundred niggas is fifty songs in every volume. Yeah. Bam, three hundred. Bam, fifty. It's fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. He did twelve volumes. Yeah. Fifteen thousand right. times twelve. Nigga that made a hundred eighty thousand. <laughs> By taking your song and putting it on the site, doing nothing, sitting there. At all. They At killing all. them online. Because I know they, somebody personally, dog, my nigga, dog, he got on some shit and I went on, that, on, on, the, on the artist page, no type of advertisement. Yeah, no, they just put it in a little bio and I shit. Mean, I didn't see fucking Bow Wow. That nigga talking about Bow offering t- shit, Bow Wow. I think Inboxing nigga saying, yeah. what's up? And then you posting that shit like, look, 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 this nigga hit me back like... And then when I seen that shit, like, dog, I'm like, this is a part of them getting some money. Yep. Cause I saw, I think it was, it was uh, Jada, Gilly, mm-hmm. a lot of rappers, dog. Fat yeah, Joe, they was, they, was, they, they, they trying Envy. to find ways to make their cheese, and they, yeah. they do it off artists. Like yeah. niggas need some money. And, and the most, and for the most part, 
if I'm your homie, I know you on this tape. I'm going right to your song, and yep. then I'm just gonna go away. Like, like I'm not that's listening it. to the and other 49 it. niggas on that bitch that's <laughs> it. Yeah. to see what's up. So you just pay however much to not get no type of that was a great no lick. push, no nothing. That was a good look. If you pushing me, that's a difference. Like it wasn't no push. If you show me, like, like I said, I went on every artist page and then see them talk about the artist or the track. Like even Nothing. if you post a they track just list. Post it, bro. My man did one of my songs like that for uh Jada Kid C D, bro. He put that bitch on there and that's how I, I was like, yeah, bro, this shit. Yeah. But I mean it's it's a hustle. I re- they did what they say they gonna do. Yeah. But it wasn't in the thought of what we thought yeah, of a mixtape. Sure. Yeah, because I'm paying you my hard on money, dog. You would spend more that bitch one stuff. time. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. that's how I work, but they need some money right now. So they they it's sitting, fine. they ain't got no shows. That yeah. was a, I it was a... Because niggas be doing some, some goofy shit to, uh, on IG, dog. Because we talking about like, getting your shit out there. Niggas paying for paying for followers, paying for likes. Man, look, I dog, can't do it, dog. I'll tell you this, man. Niggas, everybody be... Look, dog. I remember it was something that came out on like YouTube where they were saying like Justin Bieber, Rihanna, Chris. Like A lot of people got caught buying view, YouTube views. Mm-hmm. Like, and they, they videos was getting scrubbed. Like, yeah. off, people just... It's perception. Mm-hmm. Everything in music is perception, though. Yeah, like it sure. ain't even about talent for real. Yeah, because you can no. you can be talented as fuck, and you got seven hundred views. Nobody not gonna click. You're gonna like seven hundred views. Yeah, but if they see two hundred thousand views or five hundred thousand views, what the hell was this? Man, and it's it's perception. Yeah, for it sure. Ain't about talent. That's and niggas like, boosting their shit. That's even like shit in comparison to, to uh, my podcast with somebody else's podcast. You might see like oh that nigga got six hundred followers and this person got three thousand followers, but. That nigga interview skills might be trash as fuck compared to that person. Yeah. So you go in that bitch like, nigga, this nigga. So, how did you do this? Like, And yours could be better and, and funnier. But yeah. it don't matter because it's the if people want to see where what's popping, they think. The perception of, oh, it's a bunch of views over here. This must be it. Yeah. Versus, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, versus the, the quality or something. For sure. Hell yeah. So, shit, we, we from Detroit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I always ask niggas, like, what, how do you feel about Detroit rap now? Do you feel like it's a fucking copycat shit niggas rap like this I'm gonna rap like that cause back in the day I felt like with Detroit rap everybody had their own sound dog Big Hurt your pops motherfucking uh, Stress Money you got motherfucking Street Lord Juan you got KDZ Blade like everybody right. kinda sound like they own self and then it got to one point that shit you knew as soon as the beat dropped that was a Detroit rapper Detroit, yeah yeah I like, don't know man I don't know how I got to that for real but it, how you feel about that shit like do you feel like you get it like, that's the sound, or do you be like, niggas just too busy trying to sound like the other man thinking that they going to get some motherfucking lights? It could be that, but I don't, I don't think people, people um, what they, I don't know what, what's, why they rap. You yeah. know, you got to find out what's the reason why you rapping. Like, like I say, I rap because I want people to see I'm good mm. and working on my craft, but if you rapping to get some hoes <laughs> and a couple dollars in <laughs> attention, the yeah. then you're going to copy somebody you already seen. I can yeah. look at somebody who influenced me and don't sound nothing like them. Yeah. But they copying niggas word for word and exactly they style. They, they dress them like everything. Them. They yeah. shopping at the same places as them. They're in the same glasses. <laughs> the same hat. Yeah. They dancing the exact same. Duh, for sure. They doing the exact same thing. bro. Hell they don't yeah. know how to be influenced. They yeah. copying. It's a difference. You can oh, be yeah. influenced but not copy. Hell yeah. But I mean, shit, at the same time, man, if you making your money and y'all getting popping, go ahead. Do you? I don't want to sound like a hater. Because <laughs> you know in Detroit, either, you, either you a dick sucker or a hater. Yeah, Ain't nothing sure. in between. Ain't so nothing in between. If you nigga. support a nigga too much, he dick sucking. You, yeah. you say something, critique it, you hate it. So <laughs> in Detroit, that's how it go. Duh, so it's like sure. if y'all boy, that's what y'all want to do, go ahead. But me, <laughs> I'm a I'ma do what I want to do for working on my craft and putting yeah. out quality good music that niggas can feel and hear. Yeah. You feel Hell me? Yeah. But they it depends on what you rap for. If yeah. you want some hoes and some sure. money, you're gonna rap Nick, like that. No, that's shit, that's a, that's the truth, dog. Niggas be like, oh that nigga got the hoes. Let me go ahead and do this. Let me yeah, go ahead and rap like this. Cause everybody me and my barber, shout out my nigga Carl, dog. We talking about this shit. Every rapper is a fucking drug dealer. Every rapper, every rapper got the hoes. Tough as hell. Every man. rapper went out of town, nigga on the Greyhound, nigga like. Every rapper, <laughs> every rapper fucking somebody, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> hell fucking yeah. Your bitch. At the end of the day, them yeah, niggas yeah. really at the crib, nigga like hurting, like Cashing me. Up. I, Cause I remember one time, dog, me going to the studio. My niggas like, dog, you rapping about the same the struggle. I'm like, nigga, I'm struggling. Right. I'll give you my story, nigga. Like this is me. I can't. Nigga, I can't lie and say I'm a drug dealer. I don't know how much, nigga. When this nigga be talking about weed, I don't know how much shit, how much the, uh, eighth is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. I got to do research. I got Google. Like, what's that? Eight? <laughs> Google, what's that? Hey. <laughs> Jeez. So I'm in that bitch. Like, nigga, I don't. I'm lying, nigga. Like, and a lot of niggas rap, 
rap rap a lot. Just duplicate, yeah. Yeah, instead of rapping and what they really going through. Like, nigga, I know what it is to be sitting on the toilet and thinking like, damn, this motherfucking bridge car need to hurry up, nigga. It's, yeah, the, it's the fourth. I got to wait till 11, nigga. We got to stress this shit out, dog. See, people, people, <laughs> people don't understand that really... That music hit harder than like the 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 money and jury and shit. Like it was one point in time where Jay Z was like, DMX was competing with Jay Z and niggas were like he like damn why the fuck is shit going so crazy? Cause mm-hmm. I'm saying that struggle pain shit yeah. is more niggas broke than rich. Yo, yeah. We want to get money, but niggas can feel slipping and falling. Like nigga, nigga we nigga, all that's, fucked that's up. That's my top five song ever. Yeah, like you know, you know what I'm saying <laughs> like certain songs that hit. Yeah. That's what that's what make niggas latch on to you yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah. Cause and and you got nothing to um. You ain't got to fake or keep your friends up. Yeah. I say I'm struggling, I'm going through this. You can yeah. feel that, and I'm just being me. Hell yeah, when yeah. you always rich and got money, you better always be rich and have money. <laughs> hell yeah. If I <laughs> see you at the Coney at 2 at night, you better be fresh as hell, like hell you yeah. said you is. Hell yeah. You can't get caught slipping. You got to keep that persona up. But Man. if I'm talking about pain, struggling, and reality shit, yeah. I'm living it so hell I can yeah. be myself all the time. Man, hell yeah, dog. Because like... You like I said, you feel that shit, nigga. You might motherfucking press we want on that motherfucking song five, ten times. Man, that nigga. shit hit, dog. I, that's what I be, I like to hear that shit that makes sense and that, that we all can relate to. Cause like I mean that bitch really like nigga, nigga shit up at night. You can't even sleep right cause you know nigga these bills do like what the fuck, bro. Yeah. Like and you going to this motherfucking job and shit. You like nigga, these niggas getting rich like, off this shit. I'm in this bitch struggling. That shit kill you, dog. And they trying to keep me at this bitch. Like why you want to quit, nigga? I'm broke, nigga. They like, to keep, that shit, man. That's, what's that shit? Lottery ticket? That nigga like nigga, I'm broke, nigga. Like yeah, <laughs> nigga, you bro. That's so, how I go to it. But crazy. it's a balance. Like sometimes you want to hear that shit, but like you know what I'm saying. But for the most part, like I said, I, I really niggas rap their truth. If you really about that shit, you really doing what you doing. Yeah. But then a lot of times you think about niggas who passed away, and you listen to old lyrics, and you be like, dog, like you should have been prepared then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Niggas be doing that shit. Niggas be wild as hell out here and need to go fund me. <laughs> Hell yeah. That goofy shit out here. That shit be crazy. Bro, this Hell nigga yeah. running around this bitch, all these chains and cars. Man. You get killed, go fund me. How? Man, yeah. You supposed to be rich, nigga. You got the bread. We gotta, we gotta stop that shit, man. For sure, bro. man. I mean, it's, it's what, it's what yeah, niggas influenced by, bro. I can't. That's what they want. Attention. Duh. Like, people want attention more than money in rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's niggas attention. want views more than money. Yeah, they want niggas, attention. Niggas care about. Niggas will, will fucking um, um, take away their pictures because they don't get enough likes, nigga. Like, Man, we delete that bitch. That like, and niggas be doing whatever. Niggas are get themselves some real beef just for attention. Yeah. Just for attention. Hell right? yeah, man. Niggas telling them they self, getting into it with niggas and Hell putting yeah. shit right online. Hell yeah, and locked up, nigga. For like, attention, dog. For like, sure. This is crazy. But shit, man, uh, before we get to your uh, your new project coming out, dog, we talking about Detroit and shit. You got a top five Detroit rap list? <laughs> man, top five Detroit rap list. Because my shit... My shit probably, yeah, my shit. Man, my, my I probably just do the right. The whole, Old the whole rock bottom, man. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My pop's nutty. Yeah. Chuck Thrust, people that actually, devious people that actually I influence me. Yeah. You know, I got to, that's my personal list. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just, but it depends on the criteria we going by. Because, yeah. like, a lot of people that people like in they top five don't be in mine. Yeah. yeah. Hey. So how 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 you feel about like let me ask you this because I like what's the name I, of course my my five like I said I always I always say your pops nigga, before you came on the show nigga so <laughs> right. your pops I always say to me your pop shit that 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 album fucking classic Detroit classic and K D Z that album he put out dog stuck in my way nigga that's a classic too like yeah. Detroit was it was by Kid yeah. nigga it's that shit was, <laughs> nigga B G was down here fucking with him and shit yeah yeah so uh, those them two um. I like what's the name? I like stress money, dog. Stress money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like stress money. Uh, if you want to just go underground industry, I like, I think Big Sean. Like I like Big Sean. I like Big Sean too. He come he, his CD come out next 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 Friday and shit. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And um, if I want to go with a newer a newer rapper, dog, like uh, I like payroll. Okay. I like payroll. It so it, it's like your top five people that got classic albums. Mm-hmm. That's you. That's you. Not, not necessarily like, classic albums, but see, just like always made, like, criteria, made, like, made an impact on Detroit or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I feel like your pops. I feel like Deezy. I feel like what shit? Blade. I forgot Blade. Damn Blade. Like right. I feel like they made an impact. Like a lot of niggas. Like I went on your page and you was talking about versus bells and niggas kept saying like your pops and um and Blade. And to me, I can't really. They they two different rappers. Yeah. Blade yeah. was kind of like the streets, the flashy, the flash and shit. He kind of like started this whole. You know what I'm saying? 
this uh this this, this swag showmanship you know yeah. really versus not it's yeah. not really lyrics it's you like saying some showmanship cool, he was saying some cool shit like swag type yeah I, I hope niggas don't take that in a disrespectful way right but he was kind of like you know what I'm saying yeah the swag rapper you know what I'm saying he got the buffs on shit like that he's showing you how to get money mm -hmm. your pops you know what I'm saying got that struggle rap he's spitting some real shit we talking about him and Jay Kiss so it's like it's right. a two different things that's why I never say you should compare Biggie and Pop because they Two totally different mm -hmm. rappers. That's why. That's why I always say your five go by your criteria. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you go by lyrics and shit like that, certain people won't be in that list. But if you go on by influence yeah. and the person, a rapper that influenced most of everybody in the in the in Detroit, mm -hmm. then you know a blade to be in your five. Yeah. Or certain people would be in your five. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? My OG and people that influence everybody. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Because like I say, nigga, shit, Doughboy and I don't know who started the song between Doughboy and Team Eastside. I feel like they are the boys. Yeah, I feel like after them, shit, everybody on that bitch like you know a beat. Yeah, and they got that style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's coming up, nigga. Why dope boys? Them boys, man. If you going by influence, they up there with just about anybody. Yeah. Because to this day, like they've been doing this for years, bro. Like about ten plus years. And you got to put what's up there too. You can't forget about Vezo. Yep, he like a branch off of. Team East Side, so yeah, 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 man. It's like it depends on what the cri when you do a list. It's like the criteria what you doing the list by. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like because everybody shit gonna be different because like you say niggas got different expectations. It depend, like yeah, that. depending on what you I like Elza. Elza probably in my top five. Most niggas probably be like who? I got yeah. I about to say who? as far as a rapper, I don't. Yeah. He he's second to none. Yeah, yeah, he be going crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Shit, he he, he older or newer? Elza new man. Slum Village man. Okay, yeah. yeah Damn, Elza. I gotta get help there, man. Shit, you put yeah, me on some Elza shit real quick. Cold, man. You know Royce of Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Elza. Yeah. Them niggas okay. be bar bar guys. Yeah. Them niggas now be Royce going. is another nigga who just don't get his just do. Cause you and we don't in the city, man. Like you just man. said, you know what we like. We yeah. like <laughs> mon money and flashy and no. these fucking hoes and OT trips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Royce is too with, intricate. With you know the what pills, I'm saying? nigga, all that shit. As Royce far as cold. a craft, Royce put that shit together very that, that well. That motherfucker Booker Ryan, nigga, like shit was cold, man. Nigga, that whole dog. story in there, that shit I love was that dope, nigga, man. Dog. Hell yeah, Royce cold. But. And see, talking to you, dog, for this little bit of time and shit, dog, I can see why the fuck you named your album Old Soul. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, cause you 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 one of young niggas, but you got old. You know what I'm saying? Oh, way of so, thinking, bro, I understand all this shit, bro. And I ain't, and I don't be biased. Like I understand why some of them niggas feel like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, they want to, they like, they like what they like. Yeah. But I just was from a different type of cloth to yeah. where I was influenced by different stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like some of the stuff too, though. But I'm yeah. just, I'm like the balance of both. For sure. So that's why you, that's why you, you chose name old soul just because of the, yeah, old. Cause what you just say right there? I'm an old. Everybody always saying I'm an old soul, and I really, I really am like that. Yo, you know what I'm saying? That should be. Shit, I be saying that shit because a lot of times I be saying like, dog, I I shouldn't have been born at the time I was born, nigga. I right. should have been like a seventies nigga. Like, nah, I shouldn't have been nineties baby. I should have been, been like a, a, I shouldn't have been nineties baby, man. I be hating that shit. Cause I be, be looking at that nineties shit. I be looking at the shit that niggas be doing. I'm like, nigga, these niggas some fucking clowns. They be on us. And be it be like, nigga, these niggas my age like clowning, <laughs> and they, they straight clowns, nigga. So I be in that bitch. Hey, with my motherfucking uncle and brother, and them niggas like, dog, these my niggas. Like, yeah, cause I, you more mature, man. Yeah. And you don't be on that young nigga shit. For man. sure, cause niggas be like, I ain't gonna shout my niggas out, but niggas be mad at me and shit, dog, cause I don't, I don't do the same shit. I felt like the years I was fucking around doing dumb shit, dog, fucking with all these different type of bitches and shit. Yeah, it was a good year, nigga. Like twenty one to twenty four was my year, nigga. Yeah. Like I knew I had whole baby mama at the crib, but nigga, I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm at the age, like, nigga, like, I, I found a wife, nigga. I'm not going to fuck this shit up. Like, right. I fuck, I kick it with you. I'm going to see some hoes. Like, damn, she bad. But I'm, I ain't going to say I'm shit. I'm being a cut, yeah, nigga. I'm like, good. shit. Because, nigga, first off, you ain't about to get me on fucking Facebook and tag me, nigga. That bitch. Right. <laughs> and first, it ain't worth it. <laughs> yeah, man. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, it it's ain't not, dog. A temporary it's satisfaction not. ain't worth ha eternal happiness. Bro, yeah, because once you, you nigga. Real talk, once you bust that nut, you gonna look at that bitch like any other bitch. You gonna be chick. straight, bye. <laughs> you bye. That's all you did for me. So for you sure. don't even wanna risk that. Dog, for Missing real. Missing her for a minute and you got a whole wife at the crib. Yeah. Now your mind, now you, now your mind gone. Now you like, damn, what if she doing some shit now? Yeah, your dog. whole conscience And then you up. get mad at her for some shit that you really doing. Yeah, you doing it. <laughs> now, you, now you being agitated, you acute where you was at. You went with your girls for real to the mall. <laughs> You went to the mall for 40 minutes. Nobody be in that bitch that long. Yeah. Your whole conscience fucked up, man. You knew what you wanted in that bitch? Like, no, yeah. for real, dog. That's, that's, that's true. Like, that's work, real bro. talk, dog. That's how it is. Because, nigga, you, you accusing her of everything. You, now you being a motherfucking goofy, nigga, and going through her phone. And she like, I ain't even, what you talking about? <laughs> the whole time is you. She she going she gonna to start putting together like, you accusing me? Yeah. What you do? Dog, and you in a bitch it like, ain't worth, uh, It don't be worth you it, You stuttering and shit, dog. 
So when shit with uh with old soul will come out September tenth and shit. Yep, yep. Is this a uh um, this an EP? This a mixtape or album? Like, cause you know niggas be calling shit anything nowadays. It's an like, EP, man. I got eight, eight songs on there. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? I got I'm putting out uh USB cassettes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting uh two unreleased videos on a cassette, mm -hmm. and I'm putting out behind the scenes footage and be making some songs on there. Yeah. And then I'm putting all the songs on there, so it's, I'm doing something a little different. It's gonna be available online too, yeah. title and Spotify and all that, but. I'm doing a little something different for everybody that want to get it. Shit, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking shit. Like I said, uh, me and my uncle talking about this shit. A lot of times niggas come on the show and make you want to support him. Like, I'm going to support I'm going to buy this shit, dog. I ain't going to do the, the whole shit and, and, and get that bitch on title. Like, I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of dollars at it, dog. Yeah, get man. get that bitch the right way. It's long. I just, all I be, you know, like I say, man, like I was, I, I'm in it just for give respect, but money come with it. But yeah, this, this what I'm doing, the cassettes. It's like a USB oh, shit. stick. Oh, that shit dope as hell, dog. You know what I'm saying? Man, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a. Uh, I'm gonna put two two unreleased videos on there behind yeah. the scenes for the oh, yeah. making the song. How much, the whole album. how much that gonna be? These twenty dollars. I bet you know I'm, I'm I got you, dog. September 10th, I get paid on the eleven, yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cop that shit. For yeah, sure. Yeah, That's dope as hell. Shit. I got an interview coming out too, another one on top of this one. I did an interview and a freestyle coming out party within the five day fan, like probably on the fifth and then the eighth. Okay. With interview and freestyle and stuff That's like dope. that. So. That's dope. Let me ask you this, dog. Like, with your music, you putting this stuff out, dog. And I know you got, you know what I'm saying, you with, uh, what, Get Your Back Records? Yeah, Got Your Back. Got Your Back, got your my, back. Your my back. bad, my bad, Got Your Back Records. Are you looking, if a nigga offer you a deal, are you looking for a deal or a partnership? I know what you're going to say, but I got to ask. It, it depends on if it, if it makes sense or I can benefit, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything is, is negotiable. Mm -hmm. It got to just make sense for long term, man. Like, yeah. Right now, you can, it's so, the world is just so independent right now. Yeah. As long as you ain't trying to just... If you want to make some money and get respect, like on the path I'm on, it's not. I don't. I don't really care for getting signed to a major to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care for it. Yeah, yeah. Like Kanye West said, in, in about five, ten, ten years, the majors are gonna be extinct, damn near, because it's right in their face, the internet. Oh yeah, for sure. The whole yeah. fan base is right here in the push like, of a button. I'm I push just one link. Yeah, I'm just. I'm thinking instead. about like even videos, like the one on Sister Parts, the basement. See to world like yeah. rap city like nigga like I remember that shit dog it's different like the whole music game is different dog entertainment it's completely like you ain't passing out no like what you what you show me that's a good that's a that's a that's a nice way to go ahead and distribute your music right because niggas ain't really like taking no CD cars don't even coming with CD players no they more don't. And that's so it's why. like yeah. you wasting your money kind of like making that CDs extinct almost for man real. Like, it's like how we was when we was young niggas was talking about uh vinyls and and fucking what was the shit before cassettes dog like Eight tracks and shit like. Oh yeah, eight tracks and vinyls. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, you got cassettes like. Uh, what was your first album? What's the first album you bought, dog, with your own money? The first album or, I or bought. Boot, or bootleg with your own money, nigga. Like, <laughs> man, I don't. I can't even remember the first. The first album I really bought. Yeah. I can't remember. I ain't gonna lie. You don't remember one? You, you just anyone? Like I remember the first album I bought was. <laughs> it was a, a R and B shit. It was a Usher My Way, nigga. Like on the oh. cassette. <laughs> I think I bought some hip hop shit, man. I think it might have been like a Jada Kid CD or some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think it was like Jada Kid CD. Cause I remember nigga back in the day, nigga, if you wanted to buy a CD, your mom had to come in that bitch like if you was under sixteen, oh, yeah, like yeah. and they <laughs> give you permission to buy that bitch. Cause that bitch was explicit on there. Hell yeah. That's why. Hell got yeah. that explicit on there, For that real. warning. But like the first rap album, nigga, was uh was Lil Wayne Lights Out. Oh, Lights Out. Yeah. Cause my brother, my stepbrother was like, like I said, he went to Juvie. The uh, um, all the hot boys. So I'm like, dog, these niggas cold. Like, yeah. that's I was watching the No Limit documentary, dog, and I was thinking like how them niggas took over and like how Cash Money just nigga hmm, son them niggas. They Heisman them niggas to the side. Like niggas yeah. it's our time, nigga. Like the boys came through. The boys came through for it, real. You, that's you could do about it. Now what's going on your uh, on your page, dog? On your Facebook page, and you was talking about the versus battle. Yeah. Like like who you think would be a good Detroit versus battle, dog? A good Detroit versus my battle. Shit, I say Team Eastside versus uh Doughboy. Doughboy. Yeah, that's a good one. Just cause niggas gonna they gonna watch that shit like yeah. you know older or younger. Yep. KDZ versus Tone Tone. Yeah. Tone Tone. I want to see. Tone yeah, Tone was nice though. Like they was both around that same Tone -tone time. Tone Tone got a lot of uh, familiar songs that yeah. been on the radio. So and KDZ got a lot of familiar songs from Street Lord Days to Stuck in My Ways and he got a lot of songs that been. Popping, that'd be a good one. Yeah. I like to see Royce and L's out, man. Like, I just want to hear verse for verse. Yeah, and shit yeah. like that. I want to hear yeah, a couple so, of those. Because a lot of times, niggas ain't really like, because it probably have, at first it started with the beat battle. Like, yeah. to me, the main Fresh and Scott Storch shit, did you watch that one? Yeah. That was some yep. bullshit because Scott Storch, main Fresh, was, it was all Manny. 
Right. That's the one thing I respect about Man as a producer. He's my favorite producer is that it was all him. With Scott Storch, a lot of those beats, he had like collab help oh, with help, different people. Yeah, the Dre and them, huh? Yeah, Man Fresh, it was just, just Manny fucking Fresh, nigga. Producing every Cash Money, Hot Boy, Big Time was like, it was him. Yeah. Every track, nigga. That's why I respect Manny damn near shit more than anybody, dog. Yeah, that's your favorite, favorite Man, producer. Man Fresh got to be my favorite producer, dog. Got to be like... He had some shit. The he started whole, He started kind of started whole sound. Like I, I like Manny. Of course, yeah, I like Dr. Yeah, Dre. Yeah, 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 Dre. But the thing that fucked me up with Death Row is I did not know until I got older that Daz produced a lot of pop songs. A lot songs. of a lot of niggas produced some songs, man. Nigga, like yeah. Daz produced some classes on well, pop. Dre, Dre done made some shit though. We just got to the point where he was oh, getting. Oh, DJ Quick, yeah, yeah, DJ Quick for point sure. He was getting. He was just. So big, oh, yeah. you just get niggas to do like, Let me ask you like this nigga. Gotta, being a business owner, and you're like, all right, yeah. nigga, I'm about to just start <laughs> what they call that subcontract. You know, that's how Dre was. Yeah, I got so much sure. work coming in. You do it, you do it. Who you who you put your yeah. uh, who you put your motherfucking catalog against? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't really be into that for real, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't put my catalog. I, don't, you, 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 I still I got you work to do for real. You, you, you trust the shit you got to go at somebody though with ten song. Yeah, I, but I gotta just feel like I gotta do more. You feel yeah. I'm building my I, shit up. For you know sure, what I'm saying? I'm, sure. I'm on the way up. You yeah, feel me? hell yeah. So, so I got work to do. Who you think was the best versus battle so far? The best versus was X and uh, Snoop. X and Snoop to me. To me, I, I did like that one, but my, mine was uh, Lil John and motherfucking um, T Pain, dog. They shit was. Oh, they were silly too. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they was like they was actually doing it the way they you know with the with the split phones yeah. and shit. I like, mean, I like Teddy and what's it was fucked up a little, but the song they was playing, them yeah. boys got some shit. Dog, and you, Teddy got some shit. Teddy got some shit. Babyface, Baby got, got some shit, dog. All right, let me ask you this one about the verse battle. What, what who you want? Who would be your dream battle in the industry? The people that go against each other. Mm-hmm. Shit, man. My shit be Nas and Jay. Nas and Jay. And to me, I don't think that. I don't, correct, I don't know correct me if I'm wrong, nigga. But Nas, Nas is a better rapper than Jay Z. Jay Z is just better than him because of his production. It depends on how you look at it. But Jay Z got some shit where he go crazy on man. He For got sure. some peaks like triple on time. Just like yeah, he on this bitch. This shit got three different men, four different men. So he can go when he want. Yeah. Jay Z just probably make. Nas probably the most the the pure lyricist out of them. Yeah. Pure, cause like real talk, like it's it's to Jay-Z me it's make like better it's, commercial songs yeah. and do all around yeah, to me. Cause people talk about the black album. When you look at the black album, the black album was full of commercial hits. Yeah, that bitch, <laughs> that bitch was dope. Who? What's your favorite uh, whole CD, dog? Reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. <laughs> That bitch is I crazy. I see Blueprint, though. I'm sorry, To this dog. day, that bitch is dog is cold. Out. And you thought that Mel Bleak was going to be a oh, shit after that God. shit. I didn't think that, bro. I did, dog. <laughs> I did, dog. I didn't think it that, bro. Because was spitting, nigga. You know what? Cause I don't know. I think because when I was... When I was studying niggas, because I always like, I like Big L better than Jay-Z. I'm, I'm going by like niggas that really be spitting. Yeah. That's why it's like Jay-Z had the luxury of being a spitter. He wasn't like on a level of pun in Big L, yeah. lyrically. But he was like he can rap that's, good and I, he make beats. I'm, I got and, and he pick good beats. So oh, it was yeah, like he, yeah, the combination sure. of both. That's why I say Jay Z like his 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 shit that he got up on Nas is the beat production. And, you know what I'm saying? And some of the songs too, like man, I he, got, listen, he got some songs. I gotta go back, shit, dog. Man, Jay Z got some shit, man. Shout that, out to that, that uh, Fat Joe, dog. And everybody be on there. I gotta go back. I, I gotta admit on the show that I'm not really too familiar with any big pun music. I gotta yeah. go back and listen to it because yeah, everybody get on the show to pun, talk man. about how cold Big Pun was, dog. Pun was a lyrical genius. Yeah, I gotta go back. I'm sorry, dog. Pun got in the cipher with DMX, cannabis, <laughs> a couple other, and then put some heat in that bitch. Had them boys looking crazy. Yeah, man, I gotta pun go was back. A demon. Hell, I gotta go back because you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's that's one battle I do want to see. I want to see E40 and Master P. E40 and Master P. Yeah, because they like as far as entrepreneurs, music. They like kind of like I ain't gonna lie though. I mean, I I, be, I respect the fuck out of that. PB making some moves though. His music is. Trash. I wasn't really into the No Limit. I ain't gonna <laughs> no. lie, bro. I wasn't into the No Limit. But I wasn't I, I respect his business I, and yeah. how he grinding, how he put all the all, all the artists out and yeah. distributing. It. I respect his and whole. How he still grind. making money. He is man. And he going through that shit. I seen the stuff with him and his brother. See murder and stuff and all that junk. Like yeah. it's fucked up that it's like that. But you gotta kind of understand where he's coming from a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He try to stop his brother from living that life. And you can't I can't keep taking you a grown man. Yeah. I think it gets to the point like that. Like bro, you my brother. I love you to death. I yeah. can help you only so many times. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, shit. Like you said, family. You, he got his own family. Yeah, man. You got you know what I'm saying? He got sons. He got daughters. He got 
you, you, you can't babysit a grown man. A grown man, dog. A grown man, dog. For real. Even though it hurt you. I mean, my brother, we tight as day, but at the end of the day, he got to know, nigga, I got two sons and a daughter away. Yeah, once you have that family, that's priority. Yeah, your wife, your kids, like, they, they come first before any fucking body. Your mom, your pops, like, your yep. kids gonna come before anybody. Yep. You gotta make sure they fucking good, dog. Yeah, so that's crazy, but yeah, that, yeah, P, I, I respect P, man. P, P did everything that they said a black man supposed to do. Hell yeah! Went to the NBA, the nigga rap, the Hell nigga yeah. business owner. Dog, that nigga was Master P is the ultimate black man. Dog, for real, he was Jay Z before that shit. Like with the whole, he had fucking Ron Mercer. That nigga, I'm like, dog, I didn't know he had two NBA niggas and Ricky Williams. That man went to the league. Dog, <laughs> and that, rapping. That nigga played with Vince oh, Carter and T Mac. Like he did everything he supposed to do. Hell yeah! And the street niggas. So Hell yeah! Like, so being being a lyrical rapper, dog, do you ever feel like being too lyrical can mess you up from getting that big name? Yeah, sometimes. But you gotta know how to put it in put it in perspective, bro. Like that's the thing. When you I've been rapping for so long, I know how to make stuff be dope, but not be too uh preachy or like too punk too uh I wanna disrespect nobody, I ain't gonna say nobody's name. <laughs> but like you know how you be too of a lyricist, you yeah. be like they don't wanna hear that, like it's yeah. too technical. Yeah, yeah. I can I can simplify it and make it be dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can make some street shit lyrical or be dope to where it can hit a, a nigga that like bars and a nigga who likes street shit. They yeah. both be like, Oh, this shit's straight yeah, both of them, yeah. it appeal to both of them. Yeah. You don't wanna be too lyrical miracle with that shit. Hell yeah. But you can put it just and enough it, to be dope and, and, and pure to everybody. Yeah, and with that like with that WAP uh song with uh, Cardi B and Meg, yeah. do you think like like chicks like would it ever be like an MC light, like somebody who a, a female who a spitter and give respect and and motherfuckers really fuck she with her. Rap city on her way. Yeah, rap, you know what I'm saying rap city on her you way. Gotta think about this though. She been going for so long. She just yeah, starting to get it's her harder just because it's like what they what what they market and how they gonna purchase it. Is we gonna buy it? You know, yeah. we we like ratchets, man. Hell yeah, we do. You know what I'm saying we we can't even pretend like we can't even get mad at people people condemning the song right now. But that's all we care about. No, nah, for most sure. of the niggas that do what they do. Hustle and whatever they want hoes. So yeah. you we do it to get bitches. So yeah. now we mad at the song with some wet ass pussy. Hell yeah. So I, how we and mad then, at the thing about that shit not even the worst type of music. Like, it nigga, it been way worse songs than that, dog. Come I don't on, know why man. niggas was tripping they, for it. They wigging, bro. You had motherfucking wasn't the reason why you got the parental shit on your motherfucking CD is cause of Luke, nigga, Uncle Luke. Yeah. And them niggas back in two live crew, like that's the reason why that shit's on there. Like it's way worse music, nigga. It's, it is, man. It's that you know when you say that p word, that p word just it just do something to your eardrum, dog. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's why they call them curse words. Yeah. Like, it do something to you when you hear yeah. that word, like that. Dog, like said, pussy, yeah. they tripping. <laughs> it's so nigga, vulgar. Dog. Pussy at that line, nigga. Like, yeah, that's, dog. it's vulgar as hell. Hell yeah. But then and then like my man's my man's he my nigga, dog. He always talking about like you gotta put shit out that. That's gonna that's gonna help the kids and shit like that. But at this day and age, nigga, you got so much shit to watch. You ain't even have to watch that shit if you don't want to. You don't. If you want all the positive shit, nigga, trust me, you can go on YouTube and watch all the positive shit that you, you want. Yeah. You got control of everything that you watch. So if that shit come about, nigga, that's cause your motherfucking daughter or son didn't look that shit up. Like we said, with that phone, the power yeah, of that, that phone. phone, dog. And they they, rec they recommend that man. Like some of that stuff, they recommend it. You your kid to be on something, and they recommend something else. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know, like they was doing them little mumble things. Like, damn, crabby teas. Oh, nigga, I'm clicking that bitch, right? Yeah, <laughs> they was sure. doing what, what the little thing about the little momo thing, telling you to, to hurt yourself and shit. Oh yeah, the yeah little I thing for the kids. Yeah, like, I remember that shit. They putting that in between kids' videos, Hell, so it's yeah. like, yeah, you don't know what your kids doing. For when you sure. give your kid that phone, they just to shut them up and shit for <laughs> an hour. You gotta watch what they doing, man. Hell yeah, for sure. That's, now, uh, on my way here, I was listening to some shit, dog. With you and your pops, dog. Do you? Y'all got a tape together. Yep. Do you be feeling like, nigga, oh, I got to come my, I got to come my shit. Like, because, you know what I'm saying, Pop's about to come and spit. Like, I got to make sure, nigga. I... Sometimes, not for real, though, because I already, I already know what he do, man. Yeah. I, I don't feel like, I feel like it's easier to be, it's going, it's, people, I, it's, people already know what to expect. Yeah, I'm quite sure, like, you look at a competition, even yeah. though it's your Pop's, you still like, nigga, I got to come here and make sure I got the best verse. Or... Yeah, but, you know, but I just got to do good. Yeah. Shit, if you see Michael Jordan playing with Marcus Jordan, what, you don't know, what the fuck do you expect Marcus to do? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. You know, if, if Marcus just do good, damn, Marcus was straight. Yeah, it's Jordan, so it's like shit. Cause y'all said one shit on one song, y'all go back and forth. He was like Kobe and Shaq. He said Kobe and Jack. Talking about the cheese and shit, like yeah, like, Kobe and Jack. Yeah. Niggas spitting like for real. Mm -hmm. like, I be y'all niggas like nigga. That, that one song it was called what? D, D yeah, thing. D thing. Yep. Nigga, that y'all nigga. Yep, it was yep. so many bars in that shit. I, I nigga, I advise y'all go listen to that shit, dog. Yeah, was, we had a lot of. We wrote that song. We wasn't even. We wrote some of it together, and we just left and kept writing. We wasn't man, even together. That shit, I'm texting him a bar 
He finished the bar, text me back. I text him the bar back. So we, we wasn't Duh. even in the same room. We had started on a good vibe, but it's, I left. And I just get some air off the beat. Yeah. And then I text him a bar. He takes a bar back. Yeah, yeah, Duh. hell so, yeah. Because yeah. she, you, let me ask you this, because you know you got big hurt, you young hurt, and then you got your little brother, baby hurt. Yeah, yep, Juan Weez. Yep, did, did, did you ever have a different name? No, I was really just young hurt, for real. Yeah. I ain't. Because people just called me Young Hurt. Even when I played football, I was Young yeah, Hurt. Hell yeah. Young hurt. <laughs> hell yeah, that's how it be, dog. Cause my son, little Shy, nigga. Nobody call him that, but you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I ain't never, nobody, shit. <laughs> I never just thought about another rap name, for real, because I was just doing it on the side, because football was the main thing. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so uh, what about Baby Bro? He, how, how, how his yeah. music style? Yeah, he dope. He got, a, uh, he got a, a CD coming out, man. He got a CD coming out called uh, I Feel Like Rapping. Yeah. It's coming out soon. I What's, don't know when, but yeah, he... What's the age gap between y'all two? We like uh four years apart. Okay, so y'all close yeah. then. Shit. Yeah, Hell all yeah. of us like that. It's five of us together, and then we all like three, four years apart, maybe three years apart. Yeah, let me ask you this, dog, because I've been thinking about like, you know, what I'm saying I like music, but I know I'm getting older. I've been thinking about writing for my son. Nigga, have your have your pops that real verse for you? Never, never. <laughs> nah. Like, all right, I man, ask you play this. that shit. What what? Do you feel like it's okay if if a uh, my son of 13, if he get yeah. his shit written by me, think that shit okay. And he's like, oh, he dope. But I'm like, nigga, keep that shit on the hush. Because at the... If, if at you the, want to. I mean, the, but if he if he want to rap, I, that, I don't he know. he want to rap? See, that's the thing. Like, my pops, he never, like, Forced he to. never asked me to rap or try to give me. I just was doing it on my own. Yeah. So it came natural. Like, if I wanted to do it, yeah. it came natural. Like, all right, bet. Yeah. Versus, it, versus being like, I'm going to write something for you. You can do it. It won't be as... What would happen if you would ask him, like, hey, pops, can you write me a verse? He laughed. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. Like, nigga, okay, get the fuck out of here. Come on, because like, it have been times he don't like, man, you should say you should say this. Like, one line, I'd be like, all right, bet, and don't say it, because that's how I am. <laughs> yeah. Like, being from, coming from a lyricist, I don't, ain't no help or ghostwriting, none of that shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Just, I can write on my own. Would, would you be a ghostwriter if the yeah, music yeah, didn't work? Yeah, yeah, I done wrote some songs for, for females and stuff. Yeah. What about yeah. for dudes, though? No, you, not yet. Would you do that shit in the, in the future, like... Cause like I was having, I had these uh little niggas on the show, and they was you know we was talking and stuff. I was saying like, dog, there's more avenues in music than just making music. If you don't right. get, if you don't get known, it's, it's other shit you can do, and especially by being Man, young. Tell you something, crazy. You can make so much money off music right now. You can do a commercial right now. No, you can write a, a jingle like Jamie Foxx and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes, what, that nigga show? Oh, jingle three thousand. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You be the road to jingle when you be set. Dog. Push the T did make down shit. I'm loving you feel this shit. Like, he gonna get paid forever as long as they playing that that fucking jingle. For sure. You could do motherfucking and then if you like a beat maker, you can do the beats for like movies, car, uh, exactly. shows. Exactly. You do scores and shit, all yeah, type yeah. of stuff. It's money out here to so music much shit. all together. But writing is just another aspect. And a lot of these girls that come out now, they need writers. Yeah. They got writers. Hell yeah. So if you just apply as a writer, you can get a credit and you make some money, some good money. Which one would you rather be, dog? Would you rather be? I ain't never said that shit. Uh, 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 a writer and be famous, or an artist and be famous. Um, I don't know for real. An artist or a writer to be famous? Yeah, you still making the same amount of money, but you got to choose between the two. Which one? Which one would you rather be? I guess I would rather be like a, a artist. Yeah. I guess an artist, cause I just want people to know, yeah. like how good I am. See me, well, it's, I, it's kind of the same, kind of in a way, but I'd rather be a writer though, cause I still want to go to Walmart and shit though. Like, <laughs> yeah, but the key word is no, but you can't, cause you the key word is you famous. Yeah. So you can't. You yeah. said you famous, so it's like you better not be famous <laughs> and be a writer and get paid, or be famous as an artist, cause if you famous, people yeah. gonna know you. Yeah, regardless, cause yeah, Neo's right for motherfucking Mario. Oh man, yeah, let me famous, you let me love though. you, nigga. Neo like, wrote, that, he wrote to the left of Beyonce. Neo man. on another level, man. Yeah, yeah, Neo. Sean Garrett, matter of fact, that, that was a funny ass. Sean yeah. Garrett was a funny ass versus battle. I think it was drunk yeah. as fuck against the dream, dog. The writers, dog. That's who that's who live forever though. So yeah, yeah. Smoke. I seen the um I went to my pops crib and watched the um documentary on the Motown. Yeah. Smokey Robinson and all them boys, yeah. man, they gonna be good forever, man. Hell yeah. The Motown sound and the writers credits and publishing. Hell yeah. As long as that shit get played, they're gonna make some money. So matter of fact, this 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 is the first time I did this shit on show, dog. I got a whole <laughs> segment. Who would you rather be? You got to pick between the two, of course. Tech Nine or Jay Z? I'd rather be. <laughs> so who would I rather be? Yeah. Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah. I would say Tech Nine is a fucking underground legend. He got bread. <laughs> so, yeah. So all right, Michael Lebron. 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 Why? Why? Why you say Lebron, or Mike? Lebron for the people, man. Yeah. I like how Lebron. I I overall 
how he overall as a person. You feel me? He probably, he not he probably not won't win as much as Michael, but yeah. how he do on the court and off. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, because I think he gonna be. I I still believe Mike is the goat. But I feel like as an overall person, LeBron, like as yeah, far as like, like how what LeBron, he do, how he do, how he speak up when every time it's an injustice or something happened, he always speak up. All right, what about uh, Nas or Jay? That boy got Jay on there twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know for real, man. Like I like both of them niggas, man. Like yeah, it don't matter who for real. <laughs> All right, baby or Slim? Slim. Yeah, because he's super low key with it, boy. Oh, way. I ain't gonna do all that. I don't need to be seen. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I think I seen four photos of this thing my whole life. <laughs> hell yeah, I've never seen that, man. For real, for real. All right, last one. I know you're gonna say, nigga, Barry or Emmett? Barry. Hell yeah, because Barry, nigga, Emmett got the record, but everybody know Barry the motherfucking best running back ever, Barry dog. Cold. This nigga like with no, no fucking offensive line, nigga. Barry. And that bitch killing, dog. What? Watch Watcher Payton? Watch you said Watcher Payton the best? <laughs> Why? Well, I be having this debate a lot too, though. I I do this with them. Yeah. Walter, man. But niggas, I was looking at some old footage of OJ Simpson. OJ the little time he played, OJ was... ran for two thousand and fifteen games, man. Fourteen games, man. Something. He was doing what he felt like. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Walter was the sweetness was just. So with but... the with the old soul, dog. What's yeah, like man. the um, what's what's something you want to come out of this? Like what what's something you looking for after this drop? Is it validation? Is it just more respect, recognition? man? There's more respect for real. I like I, I don't really care about making money, but money come with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? As long as I make my money back and be able to keep doing music. But mm -hmm. when I go out to the casinos or at the gas station, and niggas be like, "Man, you your shit dope, nigga. You know what's up, bro?" Yeah, that's all I rap for. My craft to be respected sure. as an artist, as yeah. a lyricist. That's all I wanted to rap for. Hell yeah! So that's all I really look for. But of course. When you do that, you start getting more notoriety, and people start recognizing you, and mm -hmm. and the expectations go up. So For sure, to keep yeah. making good music, man, I want to put out a top five classic album in Detroit. I'm mm -hmm. trying to build around that, just to be able to, you know, solidify myself. Yeah, I see with the old soul every day you doing the countdown with like old school type athletes and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See yep. the whole shit. That well, shit. Niggas, well, niggas sleeping. Different, niggas different, don't know man. about. Michael Jordan got his jersey stolen and had that motherfucker number twelve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah. don't know about that shit. I had the basketball card. Damn, I fucked up. My dad had them cars, dog. I had that That's shit. It wasn't his car, but then he had number 12. He was in the car. It was like Boy, Vincent was. something. Yeah. yeah. But he was in that bitch with the 12, and I don't know where the fuck that car that dog. Oh, like, yeah, man. That's worth something. Hell yeah. I'm fucked up, dog. Damn. Yeah. So with, with this shit, like, are you going to sleep on it and like let this shit, you know what I'm saying, marinate for a while, or are you going to like drop something soon? I'll probably do some freestyle shit. I got a lot of shit. Man, I got I've a lot of shit. I've been seeing your, your, uh, what's your, um, Women Crush uh, remix it. Yeah, I was doing that like a year ago. I just be sometimes people be asking me to like do some freestyles and stuff because I can rap mm -hmm. and like hearing freestyle. But I, this is a whole project and I'm gonna just keep working. I got an album I'm gonna put out probably next year, so I'm just just stay tuned for real. Would you be uh in the works with doing something with with Lil Bro? Yeah, yeah, we got some songs put up. That's what's up. That's well, what's we up. We got like three songs. So I usually songs. do this shit called Top Three, and since the, the mistake called Old Old Soul. Everything gonna be old school shit, dog. Right. Give me your top three old school chicks, like back in the day when you chicks you had crush on back in the day. Uh, Pam Greer, Shakan. <laughs> Shakan's a big ass. And old girl <laughs> from uh, Good Times. Oh, down my ear, down my ear, on the shit. Was, Both of them was nice. That was fire. <laughs> that was quick with it. All right, give me your top three TV shows from the old school. Old school top three TV shows. Let me see. Good Times. Okay. Sanford and Son. Classics. How old we going? I'm trying to think old as hell. It could be, it could be, it could be 80s or 90s shit. It's old school. Martin, you know, Martin. Hell my yeah, shit. that's a good ass top three shit. <laughs> three Martin, top my three. shit right there. All right, top three uh, old school movies. Uh, Crooklyn. Nigga, Crooklyn uh, classic. Let me think of some old. Crooklyn. Um, the, 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 damn, what's the name of that movie? That shit was a funny ass movie. The, I think Sunny, Sunny something, dog. Sunny Cart, the, the, the the Misunderstanding, dog. That's a funny ass old school movie, dog. Damn, I don't even know. Man, I gotta. Man, I gotta. <laughs> it's a funny ass movie. They beefing. It's like the. Uh, man, man, to it. But Cooley High. Yeah, oh, Cooley High was good. Crooklyn. And then that. I'm gonna Cooley High fucked me up at the end, dog. My nigga preached, dog. It's fire. Damn, it's fire, preach, man. Dog. It gotta be like that sometime, man. It's the, the, it can't be happy ending sometime. Yeah, That's yeah. how life is in reality. That's why I like shit like For that. For sure. Give me your top three old school meals. Like struggle meals. 
Oh yeah, ramen noodles. <laughs> you know, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. You know, uh, sugar bread. Like dog, sugar on the nigga, bread. I'm mad as hell. The nigga who's on my show, they know about the sugar toast, dog. Put that bitch at the bottom of the oven, nigga. That shit wicked, boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell it's for your stomach, though. Hey, nigga, you saying wicked, dog. The first time I heard the nigga say wicked was my nigga Verdict. You know who Verdict is? Verdict? Yeah. He yeah, a rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rapping shit. He from, he from this area. Man. That's my man. Yeah. Hey, nigga. When you come on the show, dog? You about to do <laughs> That's my man. Yep, yep. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Let me see. Yo, top. Uh, you did top three. Top three. Old school rappers. Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, Kooji Rap. All right, the last one we're going to do is your top three old school singers. Rick James, <coughs> Michael Jackson, and uh, let me think of one more. Rick James, Michael Jackson, and Michael. Marvin Gaye. Yeah, okay. That's good shit. You got a good ass list, nigga. Shit. Because Michael Jackson, I was, uh, which one you like better, Thriller or uh, Off the Wall? <laughs> I think Thriller though. I think yeah. Thriller. Cause off the uh, Thriller, I look back. Thriller was, but Off the Wall was a good ass album, dog. Off I'm the sure. Wall was heat, dog. Yeah. But off Thriller <laughs> to me, that Thriller. Off the yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I can't be mad if you say yeah. all right. I ain't gonna be like no. I can't argue it. Yeah, but them man, that that Thriller dog, it's now, just the most highest selling album by solo artist ever. Mm -hmm. And that just the the create. I'm I'm, I'm in the creativity and storytelling and. That's how I do my shit, like creativity, storytelling, pain, struggle, reality shit. For sure. It's the creativity of the, just playing, like on yeah. the theme of yeah. how they choreography with the zombies and shit. That shit <laughs> yeah. creative as hell, Yo, bro. That shit, hey, that shit, niggas talk about- It's always, original. Niggas always talk about how that, that video scared them. But niggas, to me, men in the mirror scared me, nigga, because of all them Ethiopian kids. I'm no, in that bitch. I'm four years old, like, bro, what the like, fuck, That's up? scary. The what's it called? Billy Jean's kind of weird to me, dog. <laughs> he got some shit that make you be like, dog. He's followed by the man and all <laughs> that, man. dog. You know, he turned into the cat. The cat went from black to gone. Man, it's for real. I'm like, hold on, Mike. Hell yeah. Mike got in the bed, disappeared. Lot of dog. Way. What's going on, that shit, man? Uh, spook you out a little bit, dog. Yeah, man. Now usually we talk and shit. Usually we in the show on a on a funny ass high moment, a good uh, drunk moment. But you said that you don't smoke a drink, dog. Nope. Now nope, tell nope. me like. Like, nigga, it's not too many people that don't do both. Like, usually it'd be a nigga who a drinker and don't smoke or a smoker and don't drink. What made right. you just say, I know, you know, niggas around you. What made you say, nigga, I'm not doing either one? I was always sports. So yeah. I ain't never really, I was always playing football and then boxing a little bit and just probably being in shape. So I never really wanted to. And it, ain't, it smelled funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't eat nothing to drink it if I don't like how it smell. You got to water it down with yeah. Everfresh or something. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I'd have been around weed for so long. My pops was blowing heavy growing up. Yeah. So it's like, I ain't never want to smoke. I just, yeah. I was around it for so long. I'm straight. That's it. That's I don't it. condemn it or get mad or oh, yeah, judge sure. niggas, but I just, I just never did it. Yeah, it's funny you say that shit because I don't smoke, but my mom and dad used to blow heavy. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, nigga, I shouldn't have even been seeing shit at five years old, seeing them rolling up, nigga, smoking heavy. Like, I'm that bitch yeah. with them. Watch the time for the sun, nigga, shit, Martin and shit. Like, right. But I never thought about that shit when I got older. And it, when I did try, that shit just get you too paranoid, dog. Yeah. So I'm good. And it it depends on what it do to you, too, man. You, you might blow if he's hearing shit. Like, <laughs> you might not be comfortable like Dog, that. hell yeah. And with the drinking <clears> shit, <throat> like, I'm not, I ain't even say I'm a drinker. I drink on the cages. I always drink on the show just to get a little, but I'm not the nigga who got to be at the crib up. just drinking. Yeah, it's loose enough. Like, niggas, that, my nigga <clears> be at the crib <throat> just drinking all day. Like, how you do that? Like, I can't, I'm not that nigga. That's the nigga, difference though. to it. Ain't nothing wrong with taking a little drink, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But people that get up every day, nine got, in the morning, got meet, shit to meet function. the store to go drink. <laughs> hell yeah. That's, that's, that's a problem. Rest in peace, my nigga Sam, dog. My nigga Sam used to go get a double shot in the Keystone every day, every morning. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't think it's nothing wrong with nothing nobody do, as long as it's not an addiction. Yeah. You if you can stop shit. doing it for 30 days, then yeah. it's not an addiction. Because shit, you we can't just, live without it. Me and my wife were talking about that shit, dog. <clears throat> like, shit. Things could be addictions, dog. Lottery, sex. Like, it's a, shit, it's you could be addicted bite, to some shit that you can't and, live without. And you don't even realize it. Like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> you won't even know you were addicted. Food, you got food addiction. Like, food is an addiction. Yeah. If my niggas get obese. Hell yeah, dog. Ooh, so, that yeah. shit crazy. So, since we couldn't end it on that. If you got one, dog, give me a story at a time you felt you got body or you body somebody. On, body? on the verse. Oh, no, I ain't never got body. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never got body, dog. Like, <laughs> do you, but I don't. You said what now? Do you, uh, what, like, if you a feature on a song, do you, do you look like, nigga, I got to kill this nigga on his shit? Or I don't you never go feel like vibe? that. You know what I do? <clears throat> when I rap, I got it to a point where people know, like, basically, I'm going to give you some dope lines and the dope flow or style or. As long as I'm I'm doing what what they expect me to do yeah. or come with something creative or dope, 
Yeah. As long as I don't be whack. It's yeah. like our niggas it's like our niggas sure. always say, I never heard a whack Jada Kids verse. As long as yeah. I don't be whack, yeah. That's all I'm concerned about. For sure. Not putting yeah. out nothing that's trash. Cause when you when you do a song <clears throat> a feature with somebody, yeah, it's probably the it might be the first time that you ever hear me on that song. So yeah. I gotta make an make impression. Sure Every yeah. time I do a verse, make sure it's, it's dope. a first impression. That's how I look at it. Uh -huh, that's why sure. I gotta put together dope features and do go just as hard as them for as sure. my songs. Okay, okay. Now you know you got a CD coming out on the tenth. Yeah. My my homegirl Sars the uh Sars the Dane was on here, dog. She spit a little sixteen, so if you wanna give a little sixteen or some shit that's on the on the on the mixtape, dog, she'd be my guest, nigga. You wanna give a verse. If you wanna do a little verse and shit, you know what I'm saying? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to digest, my man just died. It's something wrong, I feel twitching in my left eye. We used to get whooped as kids when we said lies. Now I'm suited for your funeral and getting chest ties. Tears from my face dripping while the page flipping. Most of my niggas ain't living or in state prison. We used to play hopscotch every day. Winston, when we used chalk, now your body getting traced in it. Damn, tomorrow I had to watch as my cry. Now everywhere I go, I keep a Glock on my side. My head on the swivel when I hop in my ride. I'm bugging out, cause all my niggas dropping like flies. I act differently, especially if we lack chemistry. As soon as I feel bad, Energy. I ain't thinking about old beefs, them past enemies. My daddy a OG that got passed into me. I'm exposing my last memories like when they blast Kennedy. You fall off, and that's when that bitch of leave gave it all. I mean, that literally. No joke, I had dished my heart out. You can ask Tiffany. Just a couple bars, man. Shit, though, shit. Hell yeah, Because right, the only way here, nigga, I knew, nigga, like this, nigga. He, he a bar spitter, nigga, like for real, for real, dog. For real, for real. Couple for bar, real. couple bar. Oh yeah, that shit, that shit, shit. This sixteen, that was dope. Shit, that was that was dope as hell. So shit, man, you got the like I said, EP coming out September tenth. Tell September the people, 10th, oh, tell, so. tell the people where you can follow you at, man, and where you can find the album. You can follow me on uh, Instagram at it's young hurt i t s y o u n g h e r k. Follow me on Facebook at young Woodrow hurt, and um. That's really all I'm on right now. I be on. I got. I got a Twitter, but don't go on Twitter, man. <laughs> they on that bitch freaky as hell, man. <laughs> you gonna go on Twitter, dog? Cherokee gonna be on that bitch. Soon as you get on that bitch, dog. Don't hell go no, on there, no. man. And shit, you say the, the motherfucking uh, EP gonna be on all platforms? It's on all platforms. Title, Spotify, um, Napster. I'm getting in the prisons. Yeah. yeah but if you want a uh, cassette, we doing USB cassettes. Where I got um. All the songs on there. I got uh, two unreleased videos, and I got behind the scenes footage of me making some songs off of the album. So that's that's on the cassette. I got USB cassettes. I'm gonna send them out to you if you wanna get one. Contact me on uh, either one of them social medias, mm -hmm. and I can send that to you. We can link up and see how you wanna get that. Bad, but bad, that's bad. how I'm doing it. Bad it up, dog. Well, shoot, man. I appreciate you coming on the show. And like I said, man, he he said it, dog. Don't don't be in high school getting no motherfucking badass grades. Think you about to do something for real, dog. And don't be on motherfucking Twitter looking at a motherfucking porno. Stay you off young. Twitter, man. Stay <laughs> off Twitter. Holla at your boy. Shout out, man. Yo.